Uh, uh, hey, I am not crazy. I know he swapped those numbers. I knew the fuck. Uh, hello. Uh, wait, uh, hi, hello. Uh, what, what, what is it? Lego? Like, what, what is it? Sh Chicane, everybody, just shut up. Uh, 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 I'm not crazy. I know he swapped those numbers. Uh, how is everyone? Hello. Hi. Uh, I am not crazy. I know he swapped those numbers. I knew it was 1216. One after my the <laughs> As if I could ever make such a mistake. Uh, ne never, never. I just, I just couldn't prove it. He, he, he. Okay, uh, what? Hello. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, you yeah, know, I'm not cr done as bad, done some this shit. <laughs> Never change into my own f f f f Couldn't keep his hands bad as bad this sh is as bad as this, this sh <laughs> I, my line delivery on that, I'm sorry, but that was a really bad line delivery. Leo, you want to know what's going on? Uh, I'm not crazy, I know he swapped those numbers, I knew it was 1216. One after the God, as if I could ever make such a mistake. Uh, ne never, never. I just, I just. Yes, I am crazy. Anyway, uh, hi, hello. Uh, I am not crazy. Uh, sorry. I okay. Here's 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 the deal about uh how I am right now. Like right. Uh, right, right now, right, right now, right now. Uh, uh, so, I haven't slept much. I, I got like four hours of sleep. I don't know why I'm awake, but, uh, I, I got like, it's, it's just like, all you need to know really is that like, I, I got like a big ol' thing, uh, done for college, and now I'm just like, I, like, I'm essentially just like off for like, the foreseeable future, like, until, like, the fucking, like, next, not next year, but, like, next, like, September, pretty much. Uh, so I just, I, you know, like, I, I have a lot of time now to just, like, do stuff and, like, stream and whatever, but to do, like, to, to like, get that happening, uh, to, like, be able to say that I did everything, uh, I didn't sleep. I, I I didn't sleep, and then I slept in like the middle of the day. I I just, yeah. Well, I do a script read of Perkle, so shut up. Uh, I don't know if I've talked about it much on stream, but yeah, yeah I've been I've been I've been watching better calls, so like I caught up. I I am caught up with like the rest of the people in the world that are caught up. And I, I've just been absolutely fucking losing my mind over I am not crazy, I know he swapped those numbers, I knew it was 1216. You know, the, the chicanery thing, it, I, I just don't even... Okay, I am not bullying you, alright? No, 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 you wanted to watch it, okay? You, it's just because I keep talking about it. Alright, you, you, you're just, you're just, you, you, whatever, whatever, okay, whatever, whatever. Uh, this is certainly parable. Uh... Oh yeah, I was going to explain, uh, I, I, I bought this game earlier, because I was like, eh, you know, I've done all this work, you know, I, 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 I may as well uh, treat to myself uh, to a game that would be fun to stream, you know. Uh, also, Spelunky 2, I, I don't, this isn't happening yet, I thought it was, uh, and I was going to be like, oh, you know, I could stream this, like, after Stanley Parable, but it's not available yet to like play but it's like part of the nintendo online uh week-long trial thing uh and then i have this on here because of boots boots jacket because they they like shut their account with me she uh she shared her account with me so it's like a blah 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 blah, blah. I, 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 I got to play the tonky honky i'm considering buying it like actually instead of just sharing it with boots but like i don't know yet but for now, uh, this is a game, uh, I haven't really seen much of this, like, I haven't watched anyone stream it or anything, and in fact, like, I don't even really have that much familiarity with the original game. So, like, I, I, I guess for, like, its intended audience, if this is meant for, like, people who played the original game, 
uh, and just like want to see like new stuff. I don't know what the differences are going to be, because all I remember about this game is that fucking like ten years ago PewDiePie played it. Like like I remember watching like the PewDiePie like let's play of the original game, and it was like wow this game is like wacky. Like it was like oh this is a, this is a wacky game. Uh, English. They encourage you to play blind. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, uh, no, I haven't. I, I, I barely know anything about, uh... Oh, this is, this is a tough one, because, like, on my display... On my display, like, this looks fine, but, I, I, like, it depends, like, people watching this stream, like, what they see. I, I guess I'll turn it up a little bit, like, I, I, I don't know. Uh on your PC. Yeah, but like, I, I don't know, like my monitor uh, just has like a different thing. So like, it's... I, I, I live in the UK, so right now it is uh, 9... 9.15, it's quarter past 9 p.m. You won't be here very long, you're tired. Well, uh, <laughs> that's just a very Leo thing to say. Accessibility signs, okay. But yeah, all I know about this game is that it's like very funky and it's very like meta and it's like entirely narrated by one guy. Why is there a screen on a screen? The, this is the title, Daz. Okay, alright, okay. Okay, okay. We tried to make a robot chip. Oh yeah, 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 Lego wants to make a fucking like AI like voice of me, like, use, like, my, like, voice, like, in streams to make, like, an AI-generated voice sound thing. I don't know what you would call it, I think it's, like, 15.ai. You could call it that, no, 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 uh, maybe. I don't know, I, I don't know how it works, but it's, like, specifically, like, the AI, like, voice stuff. I don't know how it works, like, the text-to-speech. Um, and I, we realized that there's like no uh, audio of me without any background noise because whenever I'm doing something that doesn't have any music or anything, I just have music on in the background anyway. So it's like, oh. and by the y-axis, I don't, I don't know how it feels, but uh, subtitle size. What do you think is that? Is that a good size? Uh, um, background opacity. That. Huh. What about the chicanery? That has to oh yeah, but that's also like a minute of like it, it needs to yeah it needs it needs to be like half an hour. Uh, so the plan that I have is that I'm just gonna like read the B movie script for half an hour or something. Uh, color labels. Oh. Uh, uh Okay. All right. That'll be helpful for just general stream stuff. Uh, if you're watching this, yeah. Uh, okay, all right. That's achievements. I, I I I did see a post that the developers made about how they had to like make their own achievement thing for the Switch version because the Switch doesn't have any achievements as part of the console. I'm very much stalling. I, I, I'm gonna start the game. Ever the end is never the end is never the end is never the... what? The end is never the end. Okay. This right. is the story of a man named Stanley. Oh, it's the famous part. It's the famous bit. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee. I have like very vague memories of this game. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day. Of this is the story of a bunny named Chew. And although others yeah. might have considered yeah. it soul lifting, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. Why, sir? Stanley was happy. 
That's a Stanley is happy, okay. Is this how VTube being quick? Shut up. Something very peculiar. Well, I don't even, I'm not even something a VTuber. Did forever change Stanley. I'm a something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order oh, had arrived um, on the monitor for um, right, okay, all right. No one had showed up to okay. give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. Oh my goodness. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. This is very, uh... Oh, wait, oh, right. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, okay, this is like, this is like, glidey. I feel like the the camera sensor says it it's a little bit low. Uh, there's an ending for closing the door. Wait, what? How do I how do I do that? Do I, wait, <laughs> wait, okay, wait. Can I crouch? I, I, I don't know. Uh, if I press A, it like clicks. Uh, so wait, do I just like? Ah, uh, right, okay. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. Oh my god. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. I can just walk no. through the chair. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. This is what but it feels like watching Smashbub stream. Any doubt was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. I can't interact with anything else. Even closer. Here it comes. Can't open the door again. Oh. Did Stanley die? Uh... Is it... Oh? Uh oh, it just restarts, right, okay. Does it- does that happen for every ending where it just, like, restarts? Uh... Well, that was a good game. Yeah, I got the good ending. I really wish that this had, like... It, this doesn't have motion controls, does it? For, like, the... It would be interesting if it did. I know that kind of sounds silly, but like it, I think it would be nice if I if I could just like look around using my fucking like Joy-Con pointer. Pretty much okay. Oh well, yeah, but like for a game like this, it's like it's like this is like more slow paced. Like I know you hate it with like Doom. All workers were gone. What could it mean? Because of accuracy. Danny decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I'm, my brain is like trying so hard to like somehow turn this like into a better call no reference, and it's, it's looked, just like he couldn't find a trace of his coworkers. Pencil, so shop member. This is definitely ca catered for worst. I mean, yeah. I just I don't know. I mean, it would feel a little bit smoother if there were just like motion controls for like looking. But I, I, it's not really that big of a deal, like, I don't mind. I will turn up the sensitivity, though, because, oh my god, this is very low. Uh, now it's very high. Wait, I think, like, nine. Yeah. Uh, Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance of the story <laughs> in any way. <laughs> trace of his co-workers. Trace like a uh, trace of cocaine, like I uh, will out there, like uh, it's all. Um. Well, no, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's like there is no reference to be made. It's just like my brain's really like you know, fucking fixated on like trying to associate it. Uh, okay, 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 let's move, let's move on, let's move on. The white avoid. 
Hey, look at these textures, though. God damn, that is sexy. Jimmy realized there was no one at, at, at JM that... Lego, you haven't seen fucking... You haven't seen... You haven't seen Better Call Saul. <laughs> you don't need to... <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna say anything. Uh, what, what does that say? Be my valentine. Uh, how the mighty have fallen. Let me see, there's a box. I'm being very, like, slow and, like, investigative about this, because it's just like, oh, it's probably something. Awaiting input. Oh. Yes, I will be your valentine. You've got an, you've garnered an adequate enough information to make a sole reference. Yeah, but like JMM isn't uh, like a company. That's just the main guy's initials. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Who fired? Who fired? Who fired? Chat. Who fired? Who was it? Wait, do I have to do this again? What? R input received. Can I? Can I input again? No. Okay. Well you, well, you have this moment, yeah, okay. Uh... Oh? 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 Secrets. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a lot of, like, uh... I mean, oh, yeah, okay, okay, so, like, this game, I'm pretty sure originally it was, like, uh, like, I want to say, like, a Half-Life mod. But, you know, it was, like, made in, like, the Source engine. Uh... Like maybe like a Gmod thing. I I don't really know how that stuff works, but like, it was it was like a source thing, right? Uh, and so like I'm it's just by like that and the fact that there's just like stuff going around. Like you just look and there's like oh there's like things going on. It's like very like Paul to V because like I'm getting reminded of that. Uh, because I played that like a lot this year. came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Oh, this is like the famous part where it's like, uh, do I enter the door on the left or the right? Ooh. Am I a pacifist or will I use my fists? I am feeling evil and going to kill them all. Um. I guess the void. Okay. Okay. Chat. 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 Which door? Which door should I go with? Riley entered the door on the left. Okay. Wait. I don't trust this. I'm actually gonna go with the right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Oh. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yes, there was a story of Undertale orphans. This game is just like Undertale for real. Uh, isn't that I, I again? Like, I have like very vague memories of the original game. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Um. Stanley simply stood <laughs> drinking it all in. I was gonna say, um, I think I, like, I remember there's like an ending where you're just like infinitely going through doors. Like, is yes. that a thing? Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room hey. so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Wow. That is an ending. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Alright. Yeah, I see. Alright. Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. Uh. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Oh, oh, okay. Alright, gee. Social paranoia. I was about to say, what is that, like a fucking like, jelly monster where it's just leaves? Stan sat around waiting for more dialogue. Yeah. When a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. Oh, it's starting to get a little bit, a little bit a fourth wall breaky, a little bit a meta. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room. The amazing he room. the first open door on his left to get back to business. First open door on his left? I'm not gonna do that. What? No. Come on. What? I will admire this pain thing. Uh, qu question mark. I, I I don't know if this. Is, uh, huh. What is this? Ooh. 
I, I, I keep feeling like I should be able to jump, and I'm not. And it's like, whoa. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Oh my gosh, okay, alright. Uh... Oh, okay, I can close the door. Uh, this is something. What is this? What is all this? Uh, do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion, or will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift. Okay. Vent access. Oh, it's us. Imposter vent. It's us. It's us. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize <laughs> that investing in your trust in someone else sounds like difficult, a... but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been Leo, why did you stand? Why Someone just... you've forgotten about. Why are you just clip that? Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Oh, like wants me to check DMs. I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Wait, oh, what? Sorry, hold on a second. Lego wants me to check this. Riley wishes that this game have gyro controls, which is peculiar. The game was made for keyboard and mouse. How would motion controls work with this game? Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, I don't know, because, I mean, like, like a mouse is, like, a basically... Your chance to redeem yourself. A mouse... To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. Uh, uh. She's been waiting. Uh... No, I mean, I mean, like, a mouse is, like, just, like, a motion controller on, like, a surface, though. Uh... Okay. Alright. What's, um... Fragile. I I'm I'm guessing that like all of these like blurry textures are only like this on the Switch version because uh, it's very it's very Switch esque for it to be like so blurry. Oh, this is, this is a black void. Uh, can I can I hop in? Uh, can I can I hop can I hop in this? Oh my god! Oh my god! Forklift! Oh my god! Breaking Bad reference! Oh my god! Uh, Oh. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Why did this get so dramatic? Who is she? Excuse me? What? Uh. Oh, it's it's British. Look, look at the, the wall plug. That's, that's not... I don't, I don't know why I just called it a wall plug. Wall socket. Plug, plug wall. It's, 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 uh, the, like the British shape. Uh, anyway. Oh, I have to answer that, though. I thought that the, the door was open. Stanley's British. Well, I mean, the narrator is British, so I guess it makes sense. Also, uh, am I back here or what? Oh. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm what? just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> gotcha. I... Oh, come on. What? Did you actually think you had a loving wife? <laughs> Did want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. See Come something. Inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. What the fuck? Also, Kate just said that she's British shaped, which, like, what the fuck does that even mean? Also, I can just go. I can Sorry, just... but you're in my story now. Uh, never mind. So, okay. Right. Okay. Uh,. Boop, 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 this boots. is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Oh, okay. Press A on my controller. Huh? Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Why? Please press down. What? Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told oh, to do. Oh, I see. Now he's oh, 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 right. Now, he's eating lunch. Now, he's going home. Now, he's coming back to work. 
One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Uh, what if I don't press the button, though? Is that a TV, or, like, what, what is that? I can't tell if it's, like, a really wide TV, or just, like, a frame. Oh, you can crouch, I didn't realize. Uh, wait, literally, what happens if I don't press A? Do I just have to press A for anything to happen, or, like, what? I guess. But in right. his mind, ah. In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Uh, please press X to watch TV. And so he began what? to fantasize about what? his own job. Oh, oh, First, okay. First, he imagined that one day while at That's work, what? he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. He to spend time with the boys. So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. Right. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Uh, As he wandered through this what? fantasy world, right. he I... began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many wait, 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 why is the line trademarked? A game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. A game with a baby? It's, it's just me. What? Uh, I've just been sent another... Riley, hold on for a second. Are you telling me that Leo was a mannequin all this time? I thought they were a black mage. Uh, no comment. It was such a wonderful fantasy, and so in his head, he relived it again, and then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Uh... Leo, I love you. But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? Oh. In reality, all he's doing is pushing the oh. same buttons Whoa. he always has. Why did that Nothing just like changed? Wait. The longer he spends here, the more the invested button. he gets. Uh, the more what? he forgets which life is the real one. What? Uh, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, please, uh, plus, blah, 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 blah. Okay. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. Oh. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Okay. You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell right, him the way that right, he'll right, understand right, that right, 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 right. he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Uh, uh... I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. What? And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. Ha. Huh. Okay. Uh, Alright. Um, well, uh. The good ending. Uh, I, I, I guess. I, uh. That's what the. I mean, there wasn't a content warning, though. Uh, two endings, yeah. Okay. How many endings are there? Is it, it, 
Let me guess it's like 427 endings because the number of the I don't know. All okay. of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Oh, like 50 endings? Stanley oh. decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed At a memo. least two. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Okay, well, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll like actually do it by the rules this time. I'll do what he says, or whatever. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Right, okay, what is in there? Ooh. Uh-huh, right, 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 right. Ah, the eyes. Yet there was not a single person here either. Oh my fucking Feeling God. a wave of disbelief, Stanley oh, decided no. to go I... up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I, okay, I, I, like, this is like the only thing that I've known about this version of the game in particular, is that like, recently they, they fucking posted, like, I, I don't even know what you would call it, just like a video of like, the narrator just losing his shit at Pickle Rick. And it was like in this room, like on this slideshow, it was just an image of Pickle Rick, and it was just like, oh. And now I'm gonna like forever associate this room with that. Uh. <laughs> it was very funny. Uh, financial panic meeting. Oh, mergers. Uh, pranking floor five. Uh, legal. Oh my, oh, my, oh my god, oh my god, legal. Oh my god, oh my god, constitution. Oh my god, just like Biocle Soul. Oh my god. Uh, do not alter without consulting whiteboard manager. Okay. Look at my DMs. Wait, oh. What, 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 what? What the fuck? What? Why did you just. It's just a clip of the stream. Oh. Bit, a little bit a fourth wall breaky, a little bit a meta. Why, why, why though? Why, why, why? For what purpose though? Uh, complete today's unfinished agenda items. What? That cliff is ridiculous. Fucking shut up. Uh, hire someone to synergize papers. Fire paper guy. Hire someone to say, okay. Who move from my desk? Please keep the targets on the topic of the, the future is yesterday, tomorrow is now. Everyone is unique, mo you most of all. Uh, synergize core value expenditures. Uh, slides, charts, charts, and slides. Right. Right, 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 right. Oh. Right at which charts on the same slide depicted the same information. Right, uh, rate of increase in graphs per slide. Please, no more charts, please, I'm begging. What? Oh god, okay. What is hot? Teen it's a target demographic, teenagers. Oh my fucking god, I. It's all so vague, though. Like, oh, it's... <laughs> more water coolers. More water cooler heaters. <laughs> oh my god. Really triggering. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what to stream. No. I promise I just wanted to play this game. It, it's not because it is uh, trending. I don't even know if it is trending. I mean, it Stanley came out a month ago. Into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. Uh, there's something here. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. Leo, is there no something in here? To still be here? There's something in here, right? Oh, wait, no. What is it? What is it? It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in there's the There's something here. Closet. Oh, shit. He wasn't okay. even doing anything. At least, if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there, doing sweet F.A. <laughs> sweet F.A. Are you... are you really still in the broom closet? 
Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. I I uh, am looking for my tools. <laughs> Uh, you do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. This is the I most important closet mention it. ever, according to uh, MatPat. Like, uh, literally, like he, to you, 12, 12 you videos, 12 videos Maybe on this closet. When you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The my broom fucking closet God. ending was my favorite. British moment. your friends find this concerning. The, oh, the broom closet ending, fucking. Riley is in the closet again, shot you know. Stanley was ugly and really, really stupid. Oh, okay. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. God damn, okay. Bad old with right. drug money. Oh. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Oh, I love Breaking Bad. Uh, this whole line of dialogue. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here. When a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system Wait, and a physical you collapsed malady. in front of your screen. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. What? Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. They have fallen no. prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. Physiological vulnerabilities. It's long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming. So that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is uh, not Wait, that says there. comedy, not commentary. Right. Oh shit. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Yeah, he's, he's talking about how I'm like dead, like at my desk, but like I, I haven't gotten any sleep and I feel like I could be. So like, you know. Is, is, is there actually, is there more or like what, like, should I stay in here or like what? Uh, hold on a second, that's, that's, that's more, uh. Little does Riley know, this game was created by Vince Gilligan. This explains why oh, everything oh, is a shit. reference to oh, Breaking shit. Bad and Better Call Saul. Oh, oh, right. Bravo, Vince. Bravo. Oh, yes. What, 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 did, what did Vince mean by this? What did Stanley mean by this? Also, someone just followed. Uh, I, I haven't mentioned this because uh, on the previous stream, uh, I didn't like receive any notifications or anything. But I added the fucking like the Streamlabs uh, notification thing. You just wanted to. <laughs> you just wanted to hear the did. Did you uh, get the broom closet there. ending? Good to have you on board. I guarantee. You can't do any worse than the person who came before you. Yeah, I'm a different Coming person. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh, so I have to go downstairs, right? Okay. Okay, cool. Did you get the broom closet ending? Oh shit, what is this? Is it... It's like, it, it, it's not even like lit the same way. Can you read that? I, I, cause I cannot read that, wait. Uh, I need to like the Zelda voice. Shut up! No, 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 no. I'm just I'm, I'm, I'm trying to like read this. Hold on a second. Uh, no, that is way too blurry. I cannot read that. Uh, whoops. Um, um, um. Wait, wait. What? I have a narrator. Am I not the narrator of my own stream? Fire hose. Uh, oh my god, but car! But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, oh, admitting uh, he had left his post during work hours. Second, to, he might be fired for that. Uh, and in such a competitive economy, why have, had well, he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. 
And then something occurred to Stan. Oh, oh, Maybe oh, oh, he right. to himself, oh, oh boy, oh boy, wait. I am not crazy. All I'm... of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence crazy. in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any I am not crazy. Sense. I am not crazy. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? That's true. Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? Oh yeah, that's also true. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? Wait, what? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. What? This is all a dream. This oh, is all a dream. What a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. Uh, so, he imagined himself flying. Oh, wait. And began to gently float above the Oh, that is, oh that is happening. Oh, oh, then oh, God. he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. And it too appeared. What? It was oh, so oh. much fun. And Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. Wait, I need to get How a cold drink. remaining so lucid? Oh. And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke this is, um, in their dreams, whoa, the truth whoa, whoa, was that of whoa. course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else just... would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He oh would prove God. that he was in control. Oh my God. That no, this was no, a dream. No. <laughs> so he closed his eyes gently and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The press of the mattress on his back. Right. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Sheesh. I, I, wait, oh, oh. This is just like Breaking Bad. I, I don't Stanley even... Stanley began screaming. Please, uh... someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Uh -huh. I... This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Oh, okay. All right. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. Oh. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted oh. by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, oh. and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Oh, okay. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. 
I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day, the very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Okay, all right. Uh, th this is just a shut up. No, no, goddammit, no. This is like the, the 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 zoom out. Fuck you. Shut up. No, it's not. No, 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 no. What happens if I just stay in here? And like, uh, like keep. I, I don't know. I already did the like stay in the room. Uh, All of his ending. co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Why am I able to crush though? Is that like actually going to come into play at some point, or is it just because I can? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Paul of Riley's co Riley's. Wow. Yes. This room. What a beautiful room. What a gorgeous, gorgeous room. Thank goodness Stanley had taken this detour on his way to the meeting room. Life without having experienced this room was now too horrible even to consider. Oh my god, coffee machine. Oh my god. Oh my god, coffee. Oh my god, real life reference. Oh my god. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously Coffee vanished, nut. here you sit looking at these chairs and some paint, but eager to get back to business, some Stanley paint. took the first open door on his left. Okay, alright, so what will happen to him then? Oh, what is this? And oh. so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. No, I wanna know what this does. What is this? Oh, there was a little bit of vibration. There was a, there was a, a controller vibration. Ooh. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. Yes. So now, in order to get back, he needed to go um uh, uh from here. It's um, <laughs> left. Okay, okay, okay. Check the oh, ends. Oh, no. No, it's to the right, my mistake. Oh, right, 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 right. Sorry, sorry. Uh, sorry, excuse me. Uh, what, what is the, uh... I am not crazy. Right, 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 right. Okay, yeah, yeah. Mistake never, never. I just, I just couldn't prove it. He, he covered his tracks, he got that idiot at the copy shop to lie for him. Right. Yeah. You think this is something, you think this is bad. This, this chicanery, he's done yeah, worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That bill beat wait. him. Wait, 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 what's the sunroof? Wait, wait. Yeah. <sighs> wait, wait, wait. It happens to fall like that. No, he orchestrated it. Jimmy. No, I shouldn't have. Took him into my own firm. Through a sunroof. Oh, there, wait, wait. He defecated through a sunroof. He, he defecated through a sunroof. Um. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? What were they clearly... thinking? Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Uh, ooh. Now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. okay, okay, yes. I've got it. The this story bit. is oh absolutely gosh. definitely this way. Okay, alright. Oh the ooh, the the crunchy the crunchy frames. Ooh. Too much for the switch to handle, I see. Ooh. What was that? Oh. Did you know that he defecated through it? Oh, I remember this. No! 
No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh. Who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about, rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. No. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. Oh, all right. Oh, oh boy. YouTube HD, what? Goddamn, all right. Uh... All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. He defecated through a son of a guy. Uh, sorry, I'm... When Stanley... Wait. 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 What? Uh, uh... No, I... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. Completely uh... fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Uh... Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or... Uh... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay then, it's an adventure. Come Stanley, let's find the story. Oh. Wait, uh, okay. I suppose this way is just like completely opposite to wherever I was going before. Right? I, wait. It's so strange because, like, my actions are, like, directly affecting how the game goes, but, like, it also feels like this is, like, intentional. Like, the, the way it's, like, laid I'll say out. it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting it's, it's, over it's so great, again, yeah. but it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Oh, oh, all right. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Okie dokie. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Okay. Stanley decided uh, to go to the meeting room. Perhaps yeah. he had simply missed a memo. Uh, 420 or just like the funny weed. Oh, who's oh, 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 the smoking? Oh, oh, look, oh my god, the ganja. Ooh. It's just like Breaking Bad for real. Uh, oh. Okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Okay. All right. Okay. Nope. Nope. Garfield mug. Uh. 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 This game. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. Oh, this, this is again. This is again like, creepy. No, wait. Never mind. What? Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. What the fuck? Uh, um. Uh, yeah. yeah okay. Uh. Oh. Hey, 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 is this is this Bendy and the Ink Machine? Uh, am, am I playing that now? Is that what's happening? Am I stuck? Oh, I'm not. Okay. Now this, well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Would well, you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Oh, okay. Congratulations! Fuck yeah. All right. I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. Oh. Oh, no. I did it. Oh. No, I don't feel right oh. about this oh, at all. Oh. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay. I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time, 
I have to restart. This is this is a. It's just kind of like slowly unraveling into this like big mess. Oh, oh, okay. All right, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable. <laughs> the trademark. Just follow the line. How simple is that? Fucking trademark. Okay, yeah, yeah, all right, ooh, yeah. Ah, yes, okay, all right. I'm winning. See? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Uh, apparently. Look, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever Wait. we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being by the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Okay. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is in fact uh, a byproduct of one's moment. subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to oh lighten the mood. Oh, this is uh, yeah, this is the music. Wait, wait, sorry, I, I have received uh, an, a message. Uh... Riley, did you know that you have rights? The Constitution says you do. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. Wait, you're British, and I'm British. I forgot, what? do we have a Constitution wait. or something? What? Uh, uh, no, uh, we, 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 we. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we, we, uh, we, um, we, uh, what the fuck is it? Yeah, no, we don't have a constitution. There is no, uh, rights. We don't have rights in the UK, I'm sorry. This is like the ultimate, uh, oh, it's kind of loud actually. Hold on a second. I mean, Am I able, uh, literally, am I able to, like, turn down the... Okay, okay. Is he fucking humming along to the music? Isn't that, like, stock music as well? It's like... I, I, I swear I have that in, like, YouTube videos and shit. Is it, is it, is it still loud? So, like, I don't know. Uh, wait, 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 no, wait, 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 oh, yeah, okay, all right, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. The volume is fine, okay, good. Confirmed this background music. Don't worry about it, I'll, I'll just record the, I'll, I'll record the B-movie script thing. It's fine, don't worry about it. I'm just following the the line. Oh my god, financial records. Oh my god, breaking bad reference. Oh my god. Oh my god, breaking bad reference. Oh my god. Oh my god, tax evasion. Oh my god. Wait. Cut the music. Go back and look at that fern. What? Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Right, okay, uh, the texture, uh, uh, it's a little bit, it's, it's, it's like flat, it's like a flat, uh, thing, it, it kind of just becomes like a pile of moss, uh, the, the way it kind of, it's, it's like very, like, weirdly, like, I don't know, it doesn't look right. Yeah, 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 chat, make sure that this phone sticks out in your memory, that it is, is very important, it's very important, very important, uh, phone. 
Yes, I see, I see, I see, yes. I declare that this phone is made of green. Wait, what? We're back at the office? No, no, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Kate is very. Oh, oh, right. Oh, no, 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 not again. Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you. Oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, yes, Kate, you are very funny. You are a natural comedian. A tee hee hee. Okay. Oh, all right, all right, yeah, we, we gotta, we gotta you know go. What, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. All this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in? Well, I don't know. How about this direction? Is this game a Metroid venue? Now. Yes, this is exciting. <laughs> Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. S what do you want our story to be? Go wild. Uh, Use your imagination. This is, um, Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. This is starting to look like the back rooms. I, this is the back rooms. I, I, I've like stepped into the back rooms. It's, it's literally just the back rooms. Wait. This is the back rooms, that's kind of the thing. Wait, did the back rooms like originate from this game? Is that like the point? Or like the like origin? Like Oh no, not you again. I actually didn't know that. <laughs> Trade lock on the U. The line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Wait, okay. Just don't acknowledge it. And we should be fine. What does veto mean? Because I have heard that as like a like a phrase in like fucking like like on like Joma streams, like he's like I don't know, like he watches like YouTube videos. Recon? Oh, get rid of. Oh, okay. I just it literally I've only ever heard it in like streams, and it's like I I, I don't okay. I vote to say no. I'm just like I I don't know, like I I, I don't hear that word uh, very often. Okay, well. Oh. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. So I this know is some Minecraft ass shadow pixel. Like sh shadow pixels. The place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley! Another victory. Oh my god, Ben Shapiro, oh my god. Awaits. Oh my god, Ben Shapiro reference. Oh, what? Confusion ending. <laughs> wait, wait, oh, uh, deviate from wait, deviate from maintenance room and open mono room. Narrow restarts the game. All three starts. Six restart. Oh shit! Oh, hold up! What's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. The confusion You're ending. Me that's what this is. It's all one giant ending. And we're supposed to restart the game what, eight, eight times? Eight times. That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? Oh, shit. So oh, now, shit. according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing. Wall. Wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? No, it can't be. I, d 
I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the oh. timer to what? Oh. stopped. Oh. Does oh. that mean um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The um whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So okay. I guess now we just wait, you know. I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story, wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you... Oh, oh. Play the cheer saying the clip. Fucking... I'm not gonna play the cheer saying meta clip, alright? I'm not... I'm not gonna do it. I'm not doing that. No. It's starting to get a little bit, a little bit a fourth wall breaky, a little bit a meta. How wonderful. Stanley was alone. Finally. This is great, he thought to himself. Oh, right. This is what oh. I wanted all along. I got what I wanted. When Stanley uh, came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Is it, uh, right. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave just... of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I need to fucking, I need to, sorry, I, I, I need to like find this video and like show it to you. Uh... Wait. Like, I, I, I have to, I have to, I'm sorry, I know, I know you've seen it, but like, I just want to watch it again, truthfully. Uh... Wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There it is. Uh... Oh, I don't know how to go about this, actually. Wait. I guess if I like, wait, oh, uh, uh, sure, I, yeah, I don't know, I need to like, capture my fucking browser, if I want to show this to you, uh, uh, there it is, yeah, just like, the fucking, this, this video is like, the reason I bought this game. <laughs> <laughs> the funniest shit I've ever Oh, oh, oh. Oops. Oh, sorry. I don't know why that just. <laughs> he turned himself. <laughs> he turned himself into a pickle, Stanley. A pickle? <laughs> a pickle. It was without a doubt the funniest shit I've ever seen. It is the same room, right? Because the broom closet. Yeah, the broom closet is there. Oh, it just loops. Wait, oops. He turns himself. Sorry. <laughs> he turns. In, he turns. He turns himself into a pickle. He just actually just like fucking loses it entirely. It's so funny. Riley, I have something important to tell you. My name is not the Come narrator. My name is Walter Hartwell White. I live oh, at 308 Negro okay. Arroyo Lane, am, Albuquerque, New Mexico, 87104. I am going to, like, I'm, I'm gonna, like, okay. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I actually, I went downstairs last night. I, you know, I'm gonna go upstairs. We haven't seen the boss's office yet. Oh, wow. Executive bathroom. Oh, I can go in. Money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast, moon knee crisp. This is rare? Wait, what? Rare, rare, uh, executive bathroom. The low chance the door actually opens. Oh shit, really? Wait. What, what is the, like, chance? 
I don't know about this. The, the fucking the fucking Time magazine, but it's it's just a clock. It, fuck you. Uh, it's like low. Well, shit. I, I guess I got the uh, the exclusive executive. I'm trying for, I'm trying to read this, and it's like really hard. I can hear just about like make out uh, words. Wait, I like. I think this is Fasuets. Wait, okay, so, wait. Bath... Bath Boy testifies in the trial of the century? Oh my god. Oh my god, he defecated through a sunroof? Oh my god, it's, it's just like Better Call Saul for real. Oh my god. Uh... Right. Uh, the beige pages. <laughs> These little details. Business time. A hostile takeover is the new biannual. Biannual percentage. Uh, wait, oh, wait. What does that say? I, mean, I want to I read these. Uh, oh, oh, I'm just standing on them now, okay. Uh, recommendations from the Oversight Committee. General questions about what does it say? Oh, a short history of the relations between Poland and Austria-Hungary. What the fuck? Okay. Oh, hello. Wait. Oh, wait, I actually knew about this. Uh, th so, this in other versions of the game, this is a different image. Uh, but like, specifically in the Switch version, they edited it to look like Mario's hand. And that's just like a bit silly. Lenny Smith. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what it's about though. Business A strategy. <laughs> uh, oh shit. Oh my god, oh my god, a suit. Oh my god, Battle Soul reference. Oh my god. Uh, Stepping oh. into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was fucking goddamn it? Do I do I have to do I have to pull it up? Do I have to pull it up again? Do I have to pull it up? Again? I am not. I just couldn't prove it. Never, never covered it for him. You think this is something? You think this is bad? This? This chicanery? He's done worse. That billboard. Are you telling me that a man just happens to fall like that? No, he orchestrated it. Sorry, sorry, I just, I... Brain isn't like... It's being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. Oh. And so the boss oh. had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Oh, what? 2845. Okay. But of course, what? Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yes, yes. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything uh, on the device was uh, useless, since uh, he could never one after know that the combination was 2845. Wait, what's a, 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 a? It's not 8, wait, what? 2845. Is it not 8, 8, 8, 8, 8? 8. Oh, 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 okay, oh, alright, oh, oh, okay. I love how it shows like the, the Steam achievement like in the icon for that achievement. Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, and the door just oh, what, oh, opened what, no. by itself. Oh, okay. And Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do. <laughs> well, okay. Uh oh. Let's see. One uh Uh, six, uh, one, two. Oh my god, oh my god. 
Why is it like uh, this like cross out like only now showing up? All right. Okay. What? 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 What is the? Uh... Descending deeper into the building, What's going on? Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest. As though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. It's not new. Well, yeah, no, 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 I know what it is, but like, I, it, it wasn't there before, and like, it's only now showing up for stuff like this. It's just like specific areas, but like. There's been stuff that I can click before, so I don't really... Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Oh, okay, alright, uh... Oh... Uh, chat, what should I do? Should I Mind Control Facility, or should I escape? Should, 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 I, go, should I go in, or... What, 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 what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Should I defecate for a sunroof? Uh, Riley make a decision. Fuck, okay. Okay. Uh, 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 wait, no. I think I kind of remember this actually. Like this, particularly. I, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, I feel like I, uh, what? I've been told to check DMs, but... Riley, I have something important to tell you. It's, it's, it's just the same thing from before. Like, uh, like, like, oh, it's, uh... The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Wrong DMs, What horrible oh. secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Isn't this just the room from before? Why, why, what? We already knew about this. Uh, so I'm just, I'm waiting on this, uh, oh. Riley, I'm sorry for derailing this stream with my bad Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad japes and chicanery. I'll take but, it easy mm. with the narrator deepfakes. Also, have you ever played the hit game Among Us? Um, Among Us. <laughs> um. I mean, I don't know, I mean, it's not, it's not really, it's not your fault that I, I'm just like absolutely fucking chicane read. Just like, completely just like, zonked off of chicane, what the fuck is this? Employees should never, any, uh, under any circumstances, attempt to What is that? Is that numbers? Oh my god, imagine numbers. Holy shit. Ma imagine, imagine reading numbers. Employee ob observation protocol. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, well, okay. I mean, there's a big button, so I should probably just... Now the monitors jump to life. Oh, yeah, Their true go. nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The yeah. lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place... Twitch.tv front page. Nothing. The most popular stream is playing the Stanley Parable right now. Mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? 
Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Uh, maybe. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. Yeah, dude. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Damn, that's some real, like, existentialism but he in your own life. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Okay. I mean, it's already offline. But, uh, yeah, okay, sure. Five? Oh, there's, like, buttons. Wait, there's buttons. What do the buttons do? Which where 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 where? Okay. Uh. One. Two. Uh. Da, 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 ba, 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 where is it? Three. And I, I'm gonna guess the four is up there. Or... Wait. Uh. Do I... It's too dark to see, I can't really tell. I don't think there's anything. I don't think there's a way to get up there. But I don't think... I'm pre I'm, like, I'm pretty sure that's the... I'm going to commit chicanery. Uh, can I kind of just like wait? Wait, like uh, ba 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 ba. Some sale size. Oh, there isn't an option for it. I don't think. Uh, oops. Wait, show subtitles. Show yeah, no, no, no. There's no option for it. Actually, just can't change the contrast. I'm I'm just like uh okay. Alright, alright, okay. Okay. Okie dokie. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, oh, right, his obligation I guess. Okay. to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. So much map is so cool, I wish gave you just... <laughs> Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley. I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go. Turn the controls off and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. But in the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode. Eliminating oh. the entire complex. Oh, How long okay. Until detonation, then? Mm, let's say um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your uh... heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes uh, off. Well, what precious moments each one of them is. Now I'm able to More do the thing, to right. talk about you, 
about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely yeah, I'm going to stick about that. I'm going to say, okay, okay, okay. What's that? You'd like to know where your co workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated? All right, I'm in a good mood. You're I'm playing on Switch. So, yeah. I'm die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. It I is. turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. Oh, and wait, is there a sixth one? Whatever I come uh -oh. up with on the next go around will be even better. I don't know if this is My goodness, one. only 34 seconds left. <laughs> but I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? Uh, These are precious is there a sixth button? Time doesn't grow on trees. Is there a sixth button or what? Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right where, where now? Where is the next button? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. No. These numbered buttons. No, these colored oh, buttons. Or maybe right, this big red button. Or this door. What? Everything, anything. Something here will save me. Why would you say <laughs> that? Exactly? Fuck? That this video okay, game can be beaten? All right, okay. One sold? All right. Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> Stanley. You're in for quite a disappointment, but here's a spoiler oh. for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. Oh, right. To see you made humble. Humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, oh, so okay. you can't. Take a look at the clocks. Narrow house and park clock. You have left to <laughs> so the straight like you just gonna snap horrible. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your like extreme. Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. Jeez. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever after. God damn. Uh, uh. This is how Michael saw in it. Uh. What? No, um. Uh, Michael Soul hasn't ended yet. It's still. Uh. There's gonna be a mid. I, I'm, I'm just fucking promoting the show because fuck you. Uh. The mid season finale is airing on Monday, and then the. Uh. The final episodes of the season will resume. In July, and it will end How in August. Wonderful. Stanley was alone. Finally, this is great. He the thought soul to himself. sweep. This is what I've wanted all along. I got what I wanted. Hashtag soul sweep. What happens if I like interact with every computer that I see? Like turn them all off or whatever. <laughs> because I should have called it a song. When Stanley came to a uh. set of two open doors, he entered the door on his. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Right, right. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. What was it about this room? That called so different dialogue every so time I go in this room. It's just like it's grace, equally it's subtle charm. <laughs> no. Stanley knew it was something deeper. Something darker. I should try speed running. Yes. I should really, try spinning. Really That's a good trick. Room, but eager to get <laughs> um, back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. 
What is all this? Oh wait, if in this way, right? Oh, wait. I've been over here. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Okay, wait, if I just like fall, what happens? But in his oh, eagerness okay. to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Oh. Good job, Stanley. Okay. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, I am going actually too quickly. Uh, B R B, because I've been streaming for an hour and a half, and I kind of I uh, need to just very quickly take a moment to grab a drink and the such. So I'm gonna do that. Uh. <laughs> A blah 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 I'm not crazy, I know he swapped those numbers, I knew it was 1216. One off of the as if I could ever make such a mistake. Uh, uh, never, never. I just, I just couldn't prove it. He, 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 he covered his tracks, he, he got that idiot at the copy shop to life for him. <laughs> you think this is something? You think this is bad? This? This chicanery? <laughs> he's done wor- uh, he's done worse. Uh, uh, the, 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 the billboard, are you, are you telling me that a man just happens to fall like that? No, he orchestrated it. Jimmy, he defecated <laughs> through a sunroof. <laughs> and I saved him, and I shouldn't have. I guess okay, it's, uh, <laughs> it's in my own firm. <laughs> what was I thinking? He'll never change, he'll never change. Ever since he was nine, always the same. Couldn't keep his hands out of the cash drawer, but not our Jimmy. Couldn't be precious Jimmy. Stealing them blind, and he gets to be a lawyer. What a sick joke. I should have stopped him when I had the chance. And you, <laughs> you have to stop him. Uh, hello, hi, hello, uh, I just got back from, uh, getting some water and such, uh, I'm British, so it's war and not water, because, uh, I hate myself. Uh, let's, let's play more of the game. What do you mean, is this real? Uh, oh wait, actually, oh, wait. I, oh, I've been sent things. For the record, Soupy Gooper, juice is not slang for alcoholic beverages. No, juice is slang for juice. Okay. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. In order to get the secret ending, Riley must do a backwards long jump in the Pickle Rick room. This is totally not misinformation. Right, 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 yeah. I thought so. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? But, what? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he has been Mr. Mello. Hi oh, guys, it's probably cynical here, but oh, oh, oh. Hey, oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna make a seven hour long video on Warwolf. <laughs> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I mean, it is interesting though how it's like whatever happens, like just like even the Yet slightest change. Not a single person here either. It'll just be like a completely a drastically belief, different. Stanley ending. decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. So like, so, so okay, so I have to do like a backwards long jump. So like, uh, hold on a second, I got, I gotta go like, uh, fucking, uh, yeah, yeah, wah, wah, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I've never, I've, I've, I've never speedrunned uh, Coming to a staircase, Mario game. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Especially not uh, a famous, famous Mario game, uh, the Stanley Parable. It's, uh, you know. So is this not going to open this time? Oh no, it opened again. Leo, are you sure that it's rare? Because, like, maybe it just happens, like, every time. Maybe they changed it in this, like, remaster.
Uh, yeah, okay. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once oh, again stunned to discover sucks. not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. I didn't actually type it in last time. Incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. By sheer luck. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. But by, 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 by sheer luck. Man, this this guy. There are genuinely moments in this where it's, it's, it's just like PS2 textures. Like it's kind of funny. But it's just like it's, it's like so like optimized. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Oh, okay. That probably saw the door behind well, him no, was I mean, not like... shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. This isn't made in Source though, this is like remastered in its own engine. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. I think the original game was as well. Like the original, original version of it was Source, I think, but the original game from like... Like the one that's currently on Steam that's just the Stanley Parable, I don't know. Just, you know, it, whatever. Blub -a 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 so what's going on? How did that? Okay. Uh oh. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, well, oh, oh, he oh, that okay. his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned what? and willingly accepted what is his the, violent like, end to his brief and shadow. Comparison, oh my god. Farewell, Stanley. It's not actually gonna kill me though, is it? Yeah, it just stops. Farewell, Stanley cried the narrator, what? as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. What? In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone speech? in his body, killing what? him instantly. So it sounds like vaguely robotic. Stanley. Wait, wait, wait. Stanley. Wait. wait. Hold on a second. Tanley. Uh, okay. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Uh, oh, whoa. When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Is this just like, uh, did I get like the good ending or like what, what, what is this? Office layout. Oh. It's been added and altered throughout the development. Though the call layout remains almost identical to the first iteration. Is, is, is this like new content? Is this extra content? 
Because it's different from the original. The pacing of this opening section was important to get right. This corridor has been moved and altered to make sure the player reaches the... Oh, this isn't you. Oh. To make sure the player reaches the two doors in a good time. In a, in a good time? Yeah, okay. The set of the two open doors is the, the, the very first concrete piece of the Stanley Parable's design. Once this room was created, the rest of the game emerged as an extension of it. An exploration of the contradiction this room posed. Uh, alright. The office. Button sounds. I haven't even heard most of those. Uh, let me let, let, let me see here. Uh, Andrea Jorgensen, uh, Simon Boxer. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Cross, Cross, Cross. Uh, Kevin Brighton. Okay. All right. Uh, Twenty Second Century Toys. I guess is responsible for this specific version that I'm playing. Uh. Based on the work of the Stanley Parable 2013 team. Uh, which, yeah. Uh, 2013, it seems more recent than I remember. Like, I don't know, I guess 2013 was still like a really long time ago. Right, yeah, 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 okay. Boss's office. Screens from the development of the boss's office. Oh, it's a concept on here. That's kind of cool. Look at that. If when I finish Stanley Parable, I should play the Stan the Stanley Parable demo. Of it. Oh, okay. Uh, the lounge. Underground. An early version of the underground portion of the game. Stanley pushed the number six. Did, did you see the number six? Uh, and finally, he pushed the number nine. One. They need a soy jack that looks now, like a star. This elevator like. for sure will get him right back on track to where he was supposed to be in the story. Now look closely, Stanley. See how it's impossible for the player to do anything in this room. Perfect example of poor level design, textbook mistake. It's the kind of thing you pick up on intuitively if you have even the most fun. Stanley walked over the bridge. This is, this is odd. And finally, they're yeah, throwing us a I'm just going to make this easy for all his button pushing. Does that sound plausible to you? Hmm. I don't know. Well, in that case, I'll tell you what. You win. Congratulations. Are these outtakes? I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off, so, good job. Are these outtakes, or hmm. what? What do we do now? I don't... Stanley, where are you right now? Where, hmm. where am I? I'm, Stanley I'm trying to figure out, but I, I can't... Stanley, who am I? Can you speak to me? Please talk. Have we done this before? Have we been in this room before? How many times have we done this? How many times have I said these exact words? Say something, Stanley. Anything. Help me, Stanley. I don't know who I... What I... Oh, I don't know. Creepy. Uh... I mean, I, I, yeah. All right. Yeah, there's no, there's no background noise here. Which means that uh, now is a perfect time. Or it would be a perfect time. What the fuck? A perfect time for the, the like, the fucking like voice AI generation, whatever. It's like get recorded, but there are footsteps, so maybe not. The very first incarnation of the freedom ending in the game's alpha. Why is it like Windows ninety eight? If I'd would... huh? Oh? Countdown desk. Freedom ending. As it existed in Bayo. Monitor room elevator. Want 
down room. Oh, right. Zending. Uh, sending levers. Right. Oh. I don't even- I, I mean, it's interesting enough, but I feel like this is like leading up to something. You run four major teaser trailers over the course of the game's development, each meant to convey something about the spirit of the game. This is the first one released in May 2012. It features a series of broken rooms and the voice of the narrator informing- okay. Wow, I love bitrate. Uh... Bearing a new version of the Stanley Carable. There's nothing playing. Oh. Wait. Yeah, okay. So... Is something gonna happen, or like... Uh, Cause like, I'm kinda getting bored of this now, like... It's all very interesting until it's like... Actually, just like there's nothing going on. Uh, uh. How do I get out though? It's just a museum. Oh, I, I mean, well, I mean, yeah, like, it's it's not bad, but I'm just, like, waiting for something to happen. Like, I don't want it to run with the pause button. You're kidding. That's what that one part was about. This just looks like fucking, like, this looks like a PS1 model with the, the like, the goddamn, the, the shadow and everything. Oh my god. See, I, 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 now I can't like trust you when you say that there's nothing special. What? I... What? Wait... Huh? The... Did, did you... did you see that? Did... Well, the start... uh, uh okay. How do you make a JRPG? How do you make the worst game ever? What is the difference between a duck? I, I want to see the. How is the games? How is the game going? I hope it's as good or better than the first one. From a, a cool man. Are you a rock? <laughs> Question. Question. Oh my god. Narrator emails. Oh, wait. It's a strange number, okay. Email the narrator for questions for you had initially planned to use this as for promotional materials. We never found the perfect use of them. Vision. Wonder if I'm ever gonna see the fucking are you gay email ever again. Whatever, that I, that was like that was like a moment like captured in history. Forever. Uh, the evolution of Stanley Selfish over time. The first was created in November. Uh, right. Ah, yes. 2011. Ah, yes. Wait. Ah, yes. 2012. Ah, yes. 2013. I love the early 2010s. Game design lockup. This is level that William, the level designer, sent to the writer. Okay. Okay. 
Oh. Oh, there is something. Oh, look at these I was two. lied to. I, I knew I shouldn't trust her. What the fuck? One another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. I fucking knew Cho was lying to me. What the fuck? Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save those two. You can stop the program before they both fail. And turn off your Nintendo Whoa. Switch. Whoa. There's no other way oh. to beat this game. They literally said so Nintendo Switch. Whoa. Be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Uh, 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 right, uh, okay, wait, uh, um, what do, where, where, uh, what do, what did, what did you do, what, what, what did you do, what, 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 like, actually turn it off, like, like, fully, just, like, like, just, like, power off, and then, like, why, like, I, I, like, what, what, why, 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 are you, like, chat smiling? No, it's, it's like a second Uh, okay. Right. Uh, okie Alright. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is this better not be like, uh, like a big like a chunky mess. Debated. Wait, what? What is debate? What is what is the uh, what, what? What what are you talking about? What is debate? Uh, wait. What what is the debate? You trick. Wait, what? I'm not crazy. I know he swapped those numbers. I knew it was 1216. One after that. <laughs> no, gosh. As if I could ever make such a mistake. Uh, ne never, never. I just. It's a life. This shit was. Uh, uh, that build board. I used to land just. He, he defecated through a sunroof. I'm sorry, wait. Okay, so. I wasn't able. I, I wasn't supposed to turn off the switch, but it's what? So okay, wait. So oh, actually, trust turned seven past. Hang on, hang on. Before we get started, can I just say something? Thank you for actually setting the clock both times you've booted up the game. A lot of people don't take that step seriously. They just leave the qu uh, what? Oh. But you're actually taking the time to set the clock, and I appreciate that. <laughs> That's how I know you care about this experience. You're paying attention. I don't even have any way of knowing if the times you're setting are correct. I tell, I tell you what, I'll make you a deal. Since you've been so cooperative, next time you boot up the game and see this screen, just set the clock to your favorite time. Go ahead, pick whichever time you want, even if it's not the correct time. You've earned it. What? Uh, okay. It, okay. Yeah, um, but like, so, like, has anything happened because I turned off the switch, or was it, was I supposed to take that step seriously, or like, what, what is my favorite time, uh, three, boy, four, this is the story of a man named Stanley. I guess. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the board. Did it just keyboard. fully Orders just start from the... Did it even save? Desk. I mean, is there such a thing as saving with this? I don't even know how this works. How long to push them and in what order. I get it, like, has it just like entirely reset now, or like, is it gonna like throw me off somehow? All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No. 
Wait, no, wait, sorry, no, so what? Oh, new content. Oh, okay. Oh, new content? What does that mean, new content? The only way you can do that. Wait, I remember. Oh, right. I mean, yeah, I mean, this is new. I didn't see this before, so, uh, y y you know, uh, I am not crazy. You haven't seen this before? Well, yeah, it's new content. Oh. Okay. Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. I just want to, I just, I just want to say, though, uh, jeez, the sound effect. Uh, I just want to say, Leo, before I, like, streamed this, said that they didn't want to watch the stream because of spoilers, and now they're still watching the stream even for the new content. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. Yes. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a yes. reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, okay, delighting yeah, audiences yeah, I know. the world over. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Cool. Okay, all right. Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Uh, yes. Um, is it broken? <laughs> What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... or oh, here we go. Uh, all right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. So, uh, oh. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. Oh, it's yeah, no, I agree, I agree. Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. Uh... <laughs> Jesus. Uh... Oh, the jump circle. Oh, my God. All right. All right, let's see. It's the jump circle. Ah, good. Why is this text like really blurry by the way? What's going on with that? Like on screen. I don't know if you can see it on the stream, but like on my end it's it's just quite blurry. Wait, did I do something wrong? Oh. Okay. Is... is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Good uh, Another elevator. Oh, oh, Stanley, oh. I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right <laughs> there. Oh Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. Yes. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. I don't know, game's kinda mid, I won't lie. I don't know, game, game, first impressions, game's kinda mid so far. I, I, I don't know, man, it's pretty mid. That's it? <laughs> oh, you've gotta be kidding me, you see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game oh, sh developers oh, wow, with okay. no respect oh, right, for their oh. fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. Uh, um, uh, um, uh, 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 uh
And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievement, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. Wait, I actually done sweet. Oh my fucking god, that's amazing. What quality assurance department signed off on this? Oh my fucking <sighs> god, it's oh. It's my fault, Stanley. I built oh. up too much anticipation around the new content. It's so it could never have lived up to such expectations. To put this on the switch. Still with me. Holy shit. We just reset the game, and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about. No frills. <laughs> no <laughs> teenics, <laughs> just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? Well, I love Super Mario 3D World and Bowser's Fury. Uh, I love Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze plus a new funky mode. Uh, wait, this oh, this is like right. What? Okay, um. Uh, uh. Stanley, come over here in the vent. Oh my God, sus! Oh my God, sus! 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 Venting among us, among us. Suspicious. Sus! 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 Among us, among us. I can't de crouch. I'm just like can't like even with this gap. Like, but uh, okay. You told me? Told me what? What did you tell me? I, what? That's why the narrower asks you if you ever played the game Among Us. Oh, right, yeah. Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got me thinking about the past, and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So uh. I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. Yes. Uh, I don't even know what to say really, just, uh... I'm, 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 I'm sorry, what? Are you talking about? What do you mean exactly? Uh... Oh... I call it the memory zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. Right, I mean, if this is my memory zone specifically, I would remember like three things. And one of them is just the fact that I like I saw PewDiePie play it. Like I don't remember any like particular detail. You see, Stan, fucking... doesn't the memory zone <laughs> remind you of how wonderful <laughs> Stanley Parable was? Okay. Or it was solid with a cheap Nintendo Switch port? Oh my remember fucking god! <laughs> when the game originally launched, back then uh, video games had integrity. Integrity. Back then, it all meant uh, something. Oh, that was actually a thing. Oh shit! Oh my god, is that a fucking? BAFTA? Wait. Oh, oh, oh. The Last of Us? Wait a minute. Oh, this is like covering the last. Oh my fucking god. Ooh. Oh my god. Okay. What the fuck? Trust your average browser. I. Bro, I, the demo, the, the fucking, what everyone's saying, uh, is that like inspect that? No, what is that? The, it, is that like part of the website? I don't even, I don't know, Windows 7 though, holy shit. I wish, I wish Windows still like looked like this, with just like the weird like shiny, the shininess. Uh, a trip down memory lane. Uh, bits of music from Stanley Parable. Smile because it happened. <laughs> Isn't that literally like a thing that people on Twitter say? 
And it's like, uh, don't be sad that the new version is crap just to smile because the original version is good. Whatever. Uh, they get the, oh, the demo, right. They just, oh my god, oh my god, Leo, it's the thing that you almost got. The, okay. That's fully just, right, okay. Uh, <laughs> wait, story, debut, game, game innovation? Right, um, new video game releasing today. <laughs> the new Donk Times? Are they allowed to, what the fuck? That's a, that's a thing from, like, Mario Odyssey, what? Uh, creator surprisingly down to earth. <laughs> Game close certification first try, and he's at it again with new art style. Intentionally bad graphics of the new hit. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god, you will not believe how many bananas this ape's been hoarding for years. This is so fucking on the nose, it like hurts. I, a Stanley Parable deals tough choices. Fucking honestly, oh the lag, ooh the lag, ooh the the lag, ooh I like the the frame, ooh the frames, ooh good frames. Was this little Stanley? Oh, that is adorable actually. Am I gonna get like content claimed for this? What is this? What is this? I, I, I don't, what is this music? I, it's like somewhat familiar, but... The, oh, the memory zone. Oh, shut the fuck up. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning what? triumph of games journalism. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more oh than games God. end up less than any form of art. Stanley Parable strives, and then succeeds to be every game ever created. What? Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's what? how grand and all-encompassing I... the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim, I... it was Persona 3. How the fuck are they able to just, like, name drop Skyrim and Persona 3? It was I... all of them, and now... What are you talking about? It's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. Oh. <laughs> a lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. Elevator content. <laughs> Wait, I'm uh, sorry, I, I didn't get to read this one in a second. How do you review a game like the Stanley Parable? To describe any one part of it is to risk its ruination. To detail what it has to say about game design, the illusion of choice, and the psychology of the gamer is to tell you too much. Comparisons, too, are going to be woefully inadequate. Perhaps its closest cousin would be Dear Esther, but where Dear Esther wastes the form of interactive entertainment, Stanley Parable uses and then subverts it. Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art. It's certainly powerful strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Even so, holding the game to the standards of any other title is simply not going to be correct. So how do you review what has become known as the Stanley Parable HD, the full-scale reimagining of the river? Okay. <laughs> Fucking alright. Uh... The original remake? What the fuck? Person of the Year? <laughs> um... Oh, is that like... Just like a direct screenshot of the fucking engine? Who are these? Oh, it's the... The only two character models in the entire game. Uh... Memory zone maintenance, right? Wait... Oh, okay. Why specifically Persona 3? I don't know, because it's a big game. I don't know, it's funny. Uh, that, that is fully just... okay. It, it's surprising how much fair use they're able to get away with. Oh. Uh, okay, what? Top 10 memories. Why is that like the Evangelion font? Uh, 
Here's another moving passage. What? The Stanley Parable is both a richly <laughs> stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything uh, else. It didn't I mean, need uh, nine new out content. Of ten. Nine All out they of ten. had to do was transport it in pristine condition along to the Nintendo Switch. Boom. Done. And they couldn't even do that. Couldn't resist the urge to go meddling with a beloved franchise. Franchise. Wait, okay. I have always been someone who wants to go the wrong way first in games. When I sense that a game is trying to usher me down a particular path, I get to get me to run from left to right or maybe it's to charge straight ahead. I need to satisfy my instinct to go against the grain to explore to see what the designers have put back the other way. Sometimes to find a one of our collectible statue weights or one. Stanley Garble feels alive and responsive. I think the Stanley Parable is a video game analogue for Charlie Kaufman and Spike Jones. a brilliant film adaptation. Br brilliant film adaptation. Oh, uh, which certainly marked the ways in which so many films made. Blah, 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 blah. I can't read all of this, but okay, what the fuck. Spectacularly funny. Uh, they just have like fully, like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Same co worker scenario. <laughs> okay. Never before seen. But just like they, they just fully just have like source, like. Like are they able to just like what? Like, uh, like pardon me, okay. Uh. How do I, um. Get through the serious room. I, I, I don't. Um. Oh, okay. These were simpler times, Stanley. Oh. But right. I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait. Hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. Uh oh. What's this? What's down here? Oh. Pressurized gas. Oh, no. Oh, God, no, Stanley. Reviews. It's a collection of reviews from pressurized gas. What? The extremely popular online store. Fucking. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Front okay. for computer games. I haven't looked at these in years. Pressurized I gas. Been collecting down here. Fucking. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Oh my god. Oh my god. Fuck you. <laughs> it's just screenshots. <laughs> Honestly, I could not be bothered. I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny. Unfunny. His humor and dialogue oh proving to be more god. irritating than entertaining. Um, Unfunny. Unfunny. I'm, to funny. Oh, shit. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Pressurized gas. Fuck off. Oh my god. Ooh, nice rock textures. Look at that. Uh... <laughs> okay, um... Right. Oh, this one's upside down, and you can't read it. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Preachy. Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? <laughs> you can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. Terse. You can't know how much fluff I cut mm. from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Oh dear. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track Ignores record. Ignores the constructive service. I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. Shit. Um, <laughs> okay.
that face when critique. Oh. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. Oh my god. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. Oh my god. too preachy then. Then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I do anything uh, for the well. customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. Well, it's it's what the players have been asking for, and I'm very proud to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. The Stanley Parable is a game for the people. And if the people want silence, then by goodness, that's what they're going to get. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make me shut up. Here, we'll pretend that I've just begun an interminable monologue. Is he gonna read like, the B-movie script? Like this. The story and the choices. <laughs> and therefore, by becoming it is. So on and so forth. Until inevitably, we all until the end of time. At which time, everything all at once. So, now you see. Uh, blah, 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 right. blah, 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 blah. We've eaten too much and it can't be just yet. No, no, until 245. That the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction therefore becomes impossible to uh, manufacture. Therefore, it went there, on there, for there, nearly therefore. 10,000 years. Until until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. It's the only thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say, the story and the choices are what happens. And loops. therefore, by becoming it is. So on and so forth. Loops. Until it inevitably, loops. Loops. we all until... It's it's just loops. Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. Of course, I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more profound such ruminations. <laughs> okay. Not that, of course, you need a description of it, but if I had to describe it, I'd say it was perhaps... <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on. Oh, fucking God. But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go. Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes? Stanley! Stanley! St Stanley, please don't push the button again! It's been 12 hours! You've just been frozen there! I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, the truly getting nice longer. Detail. My god, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely... Oh my fucking god. I've looked at it from every angle. I've checked every one of those walls a thousand times. And there's no door, Stanley. There's no... Oh, Stanley! <laughs> You're back! Oh my goodness! Oh, I have someone to talk to again. Uh, Stanley, I, I think it's been a week. Or two weeks? I've been sitting here all that time. Just sitting here. Not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking, and you saying nothing. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Doesn't... Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you ever sat oh. down in one place and not moved for one entire year? Let me describe it for you. Uh, I... The... Oh, he's just not saying anything. Uh oh. Um shit. The clock stopped working. Wait. Oh my god. 
Uh, I guess just. Uh. But they didn't understand what? the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. Wait, but wait. where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. Uh, they gnashed their teeth and said, entertain us. It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review and make all of their pitiful demands. But then he's talking too much. They said, first, he didn't entertain us. Now he went, shut up. It's the inconsistency. It's the lack of accountability. It's the unwillingness to examine with an uncompromising heart the words that they are speaking into the world. Um... Okay, it's just a mother. The end is never the end, 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 is never the end. I am not crazy, I know he swapped those numbers, I knew it was 1216. One after the As if I could ever make such a mistake. Never, never, never. I just couldn't prove it. He covered his tracks, he got that idiot at the corner. Copy shots of life. <laughs> yeah, you think this is something? You think this is bad? This, this chicanery. <laughs> he's done work. Uh, he's done worse. Uh, uh, that villain. But are you, are you telling me that a man just happens to fall like that? No. He orchestrated it. Jimmy. He defecated through his son and <laughs> saved him. And I shouldn't have. I guess okay, it's, uh, it's, it's in my own form. <laughs> what was I thinking? He'll never change. He'll never change. Uh. Oh my god, Leo told me to stop. Fucking okay. Oh. Ah, oh. Uh. Ooh. You're doing some math. How dare you. Hundreds of thousands of years. Yeah, that's numbers. Alright, well, okay. Uzumaki, I don't know what that means. Is that like an artist? Or like, what? Oh, this is nice. Look at this. The music as well. Good lighting on this one. No, it's like the illusion of good lighting. I think it's just like they put like a cloud of white. It's like it's like um it's like when you're like painting, it's like you kind of just like have like a glow layer for like the fucking light. It's like fake light. It's like not actually. It's it's not like I mean because like it's still right. Like it's not moving, so it's just like you know. Oh. This is terrifying. Oh, it's the X. <laughs> you missed the narrator. This is by. Uh... Oh, look at this. Wait. No, there's no the, no more no more skip button. Oh oh right oh okay. Oh, I'm just in the expanse, alright. Cool. Y yay. Fun. We're, 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 we're. This is Johnny on the PS3. Fucking, you know, you know, I really want to play that game. At some point, because like I, I've always found the game like kind of interesting. Uh, 
because uh, like ages ago uh, there was like a little big planet DLC for it, and I thought that the character design was like really cute. I've just been like fascinated by that game. Oh. Am I... what? What? Hello? Oh, okay. That was it, I guess. That was... okay. Extra content. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Uh... oh. What? New, 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 new content? Oh, good. You notice my sign. Yes, I have um, something very exciting to show you. New, new content. Uh, well... Yeah. Yeah, 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 I suppose so, yeah. The, yeah. Elevator 2, Electric Boogaloo. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley <laughs> yeah. Parable was a landmark, okay. and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even Wait, what? further. What? Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever. The Stanley Parable 2. Oh. I mean, uh, this isn't even like a joke. This is like a real thing. Uh, yes, you that they're see, making, right? isn't this far superior to a measly port with a, a few minor port. additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience built from the ground up. Why, there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Imagine if it was just the same game again. <laughs> Fucking 427. I, um... Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you? Taste of the oh, sequel. The what does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable uh, 2. Now that's an artistic statement. Artistic right statement. It's future oriented. It screams progress what? and innovation and long term franchising potential. Are they allowed to like have like the fucking Windows background? Like I'm just genuinely wondering what. Um. <laughs> what? Mayhaps. I mean, they, uh, yeah, again, I don't know. Just a weird how there are just things that are like, oh, new mug, <laughs> time to wake up. What the fuck does it say? Never understood me coffee, enjoyed something something, love a sofa, something something, blurry room. Yeah, blurry is right. Uh, it's a laptop. But I fucking, is this literally just like... The office, like the like the real office that the fucking developers have, like that they 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 walk in, like is that what this is? More TSP, better TSP, sequential mind share, paradigm shift, synergy, brick and mortar approach, envelope, client centric marketing, the color red, leverage holistic value. <laughs> oh, look at that. Uh, right. Oh, there's two of them. Okay, alright. Oh, what if it's like a multiplayer thing? That would be kind of cool. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Wait, did you say that game development is a fuzzy magic? That, that's very silly. Sequels are good. Portal 2, Half-Life 2, 
Batman Arkham Asylum 2 City <laughs> Divinity Original Sin 2 Doom 2 Aladdin 2 Return of Jafar Dark Souls 2 Don't people fucking hate Dark Souls 2? All these games, oh yes, Aladdin 2 Return of Jafar, my favorite video game. Uh, Crab, the ultimate sequel. Fucking, they can't keep getting away with this. When are we gonna get Smudgebap 2? Uh, I don't know, after uh, Smudgebap Ultra Deluxe comes out. New content. Expo Hall. Oh shit. Oh wow, I love, uh... You know, I fucking- I went- I actually went- I have been to, like, one, like, game expo before. And it was probably, like, the worst set of circumstances for one, because I think what happened with it is that because of, like, the pandemic and everything, uh, they had to, like, intense, like, li like heavily limit what they had there. Uh, and this is, like, the end of last year. Like, this is, like, October, I think, of last year. So I say who fought it. Uh, and, like, I went there, and, like, it was so lame. Like, there was not that much going on. I think there was, like, a Fall Guys thing. There was, like, a major, like, Fall Guys presence. And then there's some like some indie games and then just like a bunch of like Here TVs Go on. Try out some with game consoles. Features. That like all let you like try like Sonic Colors and shit. Like the remaster of Sonic Colors. But like it was it was probably like the weakest game X4 I've ever been to, and it's also the only one I've ever been to, which is sad that it was my first experience because I I think they're meant to be a lot better. Sween shaders. The baby is all grown up. Fucking, I love the... Uh, the work was put in, reap the results. Go to the button room? Oh, what? The one that says the name of the player that is playing the game? Have <laughs> your name in the game? <laughs> the what fuck? Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself. What do players really want? Is that they want to be recognized and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Jim. That is not my name. I should have clarified. Right now, right now the, the button, button only says the name Jim. Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Oh my fucking Here, god. Let's have you roleplay as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath. What if my name actually mind, was Jim, though? Forget what whoever happened you then? are and simply become a person named Jim. What if I, yeah, I, want what if you I am someone named Jim? Living as Jim. Sleeping and waking as Jim, falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim, seizing all <laughs> the world's possibilities <laughs> as Jim, and as oh, Jim is this a real name? your dreams crumble into dust. Okay. Do you feel it deeply? Are you really, truly Jim right now? Uh, if so, yes. then please step forward and press the button. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, Jimmy McGill, oh my god, like Jim, like Jim, Jim, Jimmy McGill, like, like, vertical soul, oh my god, oh my god, vertical soul reference. Jim. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, you see? What a thrill, what a rush. That was you. <laughs> the button described you. Do it again, do it again. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Jim. Oh my it god. It's even harder the second time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. It, 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 Let's honestly, take a break honestly. Jim button. The gym too button. emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. Okay. What is the narrator? Is the narrator's name Jim? Because uh, I mean, it's like it's not the narrator's personal validation, is it? Like I don't know. What, what, what if when I upload the vod for this, I, like I, I instead of it saying like SmudgeBob stream, it's just Jim stream. Like I yes, I am Jim. 
I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable too. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. No screenshots. Uh, no screenshots. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, okay. Yeah. Jim Bap. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, wait. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, I'll be honest, Ooh. I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, <laughs> like balloons. Like balloons. <laughs> but I'm undecided on get well someday and happy 12th birthday. <laughs> Which would you go with? Um, who is this? Um, uh, sure. You know, Sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Get well someday, it is. This is what happened when I was like asking people uh, earlier, like which game to buy, so that I'd be able to like stream a game. So why did why does it just disappear if I go into this corner? What? Oh. Uh, Uh, what, what was I? Yeah, it was like I, it was between this and like bug snacks and. Uh... Well, actually, maybe I should have gone with no, <laughs> no. I've made my decision. We're moving on. It was like I, I like I kind of just like slightly wanted uh, to get the Stanley Parable anyway, even if there were other choices that might have been better in the long run. Like this is like rooted in my own emotions now. Yes, loyal. Oh, what is this? Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable... Wait, what? Wait, what? Sorry. Oh, can you give context for the baby is all grown up? No? Yes? What? What does that mean? What is that about? Uh... B -b 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 what is this? We regret to inform you we ran out of budget for Stanley Preble 2 to include your name Preble. in the list of names. Sorry, Riley Smudgebap. Maybe we'll try again for Stanley Parable 2 Episode 1. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, yeah, Leo, okay, so yeah, what, what's the context True. of the baby thing? run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. What? And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. Oh my god. There's an ending in which the narrator jokes about spending eight hours keeping a baby from going into a fire. <laughs> okay. True. How do I... Well, oh, I have to... Oh nice. Oh you did it, it, my my camera's covering up the number. If you actually spend eight hours you get an ending that fucking is horrid. Collect them all. NFTs? Shut up. I mean maybe I don't know. I wouldn't oh, be surprised it really is the if they worst made a when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. It's true, it's true. No, this is not actually NFTs. I, I, I feel like the developers of this game is like very like anti NFT. You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2 as well. Yes. Oh wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Hmm. Oh well. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece then. Oh, uh, who plays LPP? I mean I do. There's like five other people that do, I think. The Stanley Parable 2 reassurance bucket? What? Right. Uh, what does the mug say? I'm bad at grammar. Wait, what? Leo, what are you talking about? The common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was conf-
I didn't see the comma. I didn't, I didn't see the comma. I didn't, I didn't see the comma. Confusing and paradoxical that it engendered a chaotic... Wait, what, what, what is that about, though? Like, are you saying that, like, a, like LBP is NFTs? So, what do you... Is it the collectible thing? Because, like, the whole game is collectibles, and, like, you can... What, what, what do you mean? ...a sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration... It's not just collectibles, it's, like, actually a reason to collect things. To this fundamental problem with ...is you guys have mixed up with them. It's the Stanley Parable real in that case, bucket. You see, bucket. Stanley, any time you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold on to the bucket, uh, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. Cognitive dissonance. It's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes, do, the bucket do, is do, the do, perfect do, solution. Do you see this, Come like, on, white line here? It's like a line of, like, glitter. What, what, what is that all about? Oh, uh, okay. It, what? <laughs> um, excuse me. Can you feel it? What? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? You know. I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. Honestly. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? I feel. All I feel this confident. Awaits you in the Stanley Parable too. I feel at ease. Okay. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it isn't already. Uh, is there anything else that I haven't seen? Jump circle, infinite hole. What? Oh, new and easy achievement. Oh my god. <laughs> it just works. <laughs> Fucking... Jeff Keighley. Oh, you know, after streaming this, uh, I mean, well, it's, it's like, still, like, a little under a month away, but, like, at the beginning of June, there's gonna be, like, a bunch of, like, video game presentations that would be E3, but because E3 is cancelled, it's just a bunch of Now, them. here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. Uh, so essentially, like, fake E3 is happening at the start of June. And so, like, I'm planning on streaming that stuff, and if it goes, like, if, if I do, like, stream it, I'm gonna be just, like, fucking pissed off the whole time because it, like either most of the games won't interest me or i'll just be like really like i don't know I fucking it'll just essentially be like ah poo pee poo poo game industry poo and like especially after playing this game of all games it would just be like hey hey yeah. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm Fuck. not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you. Gamers. And I promise it will happen. Fuck. Okay, okay. All right, okay. Uh, gamers. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what to say. Uh, wow, wow, wow. What yeah, else? Um, what other exhibits haven't we seen yet? <laughs> uh, yeah, watching the like E3, like uh, whatever it's called, like Summer Game Fest. Uh, Shit, it's gonna be, it's mostly probably just gonna be really funny. Sang's World Champion. It's up here, what the hell is this? Settings World Champion.
I what do I have to like go into the settings? Is that what this is? I'm quite confused. Okay. That's new. Oh. I, 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 what, yeah, I guess it is new. <laughs> what? Is that a reference to that one meme? What meme? Epilogue. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it would go at the end of the. Um. Uh, well, we'll figure that out later. But they have hundreds of hours on settings, and they're like, I'm so good at this. Fuck. I heard Jim in the game. Oh my gosh. Wait, this is just... What? What are you talking about? What do you mean? I, oh, okay. Alright. Did, did it get, like, more silent? I feel like I've been everywhere, I don't know what else there is. The infinite- oh yeah, I was trying to find the infinite hole, I don't know where that is. Error here. Okay. Uh, infinite hole is K. Oh, so like, wait. Is it here? No, this is the collectible thing. Uh, shit. Why? Why? I'm like, I'm like, baby brain at like navigation. I don't, I don't really. It's the way the, the big tech. Oh, fuck, great. Right. How did I not see that? I'm a bit of, yeah, 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 I am. This has been established. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Stanley, here's okay. an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. Has it seriously never been done? Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. Can, uh, should, should I fall in? Should I do it? I, I guess, uh, yeah. Okay. Well. Oh. Wow. You see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, wow. since you've gotten to see the impressive hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. I'm gonna see how far it goes. This relates to the skip button, what do you mean? Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I Infinite do recommend you time. use the teleport huh. button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. Just, I'm, I, I just want to see like how small this hole, uh, or okay, this like side of the hole gets. Wait, wait, of the uh, oh, wait, really? Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain, it is. It's an extremely deep hole. Oh. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Oh. Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, oh. the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... Oh. Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. You found me out, Stanley. Oh, well, hello. I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. Look, you, I think you, the issue uh, here is just that you're chat. unusually fascinated you by falling. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. <laughs> Look, 
Uh, things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. No. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the whole mostly? Oh my fucking god. If that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. Is it going to teleport me to somewhere that isn't this? But like, Great. Oh, no, okay, I'm like, very right. excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. Mostly infinite hole. The ceiling? What ceiling? Up here, I don't know. What, this one? What do you mean? What? Okay. I didn't see it. Like, are, are you saying that it like, popped in because I didn't see it pop in? I, just, I just don't know, I missed that. Uh, da 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 I don't know what to do now. Uh, no, I'm not adorable now. No, no, no. Uh, Yalago, what, what is it? Is there, is there another thing that you sent? Is that... Wait, no. What is... what... what... why are you saying my name and nothing else, just the name? What? Epilogue. Wanna totally not watch Breaking Bad, but... What, 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 what do you what do you mean? What are you talking about? I've already watched all of it. Is the oh, this is like just actually the exit. I didn't realize that was an exit. Okay. All right. All right. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Ready to move on now? You only saw the series finale. The meme of Walter Well, yeah, 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 everyone's seen that. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. Uh, it's going to work. Yeah, There's sense definitely switch. a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together, and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> Okay, are you ready? I don't think it knows it if I'm taking screenshots. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Fuck, it's bloodied now, it is. Why is it bloodied? Wait. What the hell? Okay. Um, um well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... Okay, never mind. Hold on, let me do a different arrangement. Okay, you only have this yes, part of the card. Yes, okay. this is much... Oh, yeah, 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 I, I, we saw that earlier. Better, I feel good about it. Here we go. Version uh, two. Or watch the bottom of YouTube if you want to see what you missed. Uh, who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course, with respect, with care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? Mm, I suppose it could, but it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, This is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> Exhibition moment, EA right, moment, Ubisoft perfect. moment, yeah. Go ahead. But that's a moment. Take a look. Kind of. But that's just the last skill see of that, though. Maybe with, like, follow, maybe. <laughs> Mario and Rabbit. Oh, this is, oh, 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 right, oh, okay, oh, hello. 
Oh, uh, all right, oh. What? Were you able to jump originally? Is that the one? So this is just the same... Okay, all right. Uh, this is cool uh, demo for the second game, I guess. But, okay, hello. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company oh fucking in course. where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment I, I, the orders came in. What, I mean, what can I even say? Exactly this job. I'm in the R. Was happy. The sequel? What do you and then one I'm day, and something what are you talking very about? peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say I really love what they Never did with the source material. The, company had this the sequel is this really interesting. Isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. It's but as subversive. he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Uh... Both of the game's existences were, pr were leaked prior to their announcements. What, the, the uh, Ultra Deluxe and 2? Because, like, what, uh, I haven't really been following it, I just knew that this was coming out, uh... It was announced, like, a while ago as well, actually. I think it was announced from, like, fucking the balloons. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Um. Oh, there's the bucket. Stanley picked up the bucket. Uh, there's more paper here now. What is this? Uh, knowing your city. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Right. Mm-hmm, yeah, 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 okay. A pickle, Stanley. Still no one was here. He Stanley turned himself needed into a pickle. the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Alright. Bathroom? Yeah. Oh. Look at that. You found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. It's, it... You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. It's just, it's really funny though, because there are games that just have, like, no real reward for collecting everything. Like, there, there are games where it's just like, yeah, you can collect this and you don't get anything for it, you just have the ability to collect it. I can't really think of any examples of this off my head, but I know it. Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire, if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. Yes. Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him always. 
the bucket would, and he knew it. I don't remember the what two the of them were inseparable. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. Nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket two, did four, he have five, any eight. notion that the pin number for the keypad was 2845. <laughs> 2845? Oh, that's different. Leo, you lied to me. <laughs> but Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. I mean, they might have actually changed it. I wouldn't be surprised if it was changed. If they, if they like, changed it. Uh, yeah. This was the origin of, like, the past, like, hour of shenanigans, so... Did I just say the opposite? The I, I mean, the origin... Downward. Did I say origin or opposite? Unknown fate. I feel like I said opposite. It would um, be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be alright. The bucket is here what? for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. The elevator loading screen. No, 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 it's faithful to the first game. This sequel is true. Stanley and the Bucket walk straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Wait, that's, uh, the sequel is now paused. Uh, what is this? We regret to inform you we ran out of budget for Stanley Preble 2 to include your name in the list of names. This is the same. Sorry, but... Riley Smudgebap. Maybe we'll try again for Stanley Parable 2 Episode 1. Didn't you just send that? Wait. No, that's the- oh, that's the one from earlier. Wait, wait, oh. That's the- I don't- I... Did you send a new one, or like what? Oh. Riley begins to realize that the chat is gaslighting her. Oh, uh, yes. As usual. Oh. Uh. Wait, what? This is new. Is this new? Wait. Oh, wait, I came in through the- wait, I'm done as hell. Uh... No? No, oh. Great, it's too late. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the Bucket both wondered to themselves. I'm wondering if, uh... The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the Bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears so. as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. Uh, this sounds like a fanfic. What would I do without the bucket? Oh, boo-hoo. Oh, boo-hoo, boo-hoo. Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Had the no. bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. No! He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't the, accept oh, it. The fucking bucket. His own life in someone bucket else's someone control. Went. Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire <laughs> world. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. Huey from Paper Mario Color Splash. I never played that game. But here was the I have a Wii U and I just never played that game. The operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket right. would dismantle the controls for good. 
two best friends stand in the bucket up against the world. They high-fived in a really cool way. <laughs> the bucket made a sassy <laughs> comment about taking down the system. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, yes. Check the ends again. Okay, wait. Oh. What? Riley considers buying a bucket at a local hardware store and call it Chio. What? Why, why would I name it after? <laughs> in the bucket, waited in blackness. Was it over? Yes, they had done it. Stanley and the Bucket had defeated their greatest and darkest enemy, freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. Freedom was now mere moments away. Excitedly, the two of them began to discuss the kind of life they uh, wanted to live once they stepped through this massive door. Kind of so the Bucket wanted to learn to roller skate. Okay. Stanley wanted to sneeze in every country on Earth. Oh, me too. Both of them wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. Wait, what? True, it was a simple life they envisioned, but it was one they'd lived together. Me and who? With one another to lean on, to trust, to support, and to... What? Wait. What was happening? Why had the door stopped? What? Was Stanley and the bucket not about to be freed? An unbearable silence filled the room, lingering in uncertainty. Until finally the truth hit Stanley square in the face. This building did not want the bucket to leave. Oh. Even the facility itself recognized the incredible calming presence of the bucket. Oh. Needed the uh, soothing warmth oh, of the bucket. Oh, the oh. lengths not to part with the bucket. No, no, no. Stanley can't leave this place. Not while he has such a precious bucket in his Just the fuck up about the bucket. Oh my God! Has anything to say about it? Stanley realized he would never again leave this very room. But at least, at least he has the bucket. <laughs> what? Trapped eternally in darkness isn't really so bad. Stanley thought to himself, "As long as I have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't I?" Stanley gulped. Very soon. What now, did the bucket mean by this? About to find out. This is such a fanfic. That's probably, I mean, that's probably like the, the whole thing with this. Oh. Okay. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. <laughs> Figurine Perhaps Finders Committee. <laughs> what if I don't take the bug at this time? Yeah, what if I beat the game without the bucket? When Stanley came to a set of what if I do exactly what I just did, but without the bucket? Left. Like, is, is it gonna be, like, what? What's gonna happen? Oh. How can we find them tr trusted the completionist instinct? Oh. <laughs> I didn't realize this was new. Small floating objects have appeared across the office. We have to find the fuck. Maybe we are the collectibles. <laughs> Who took these pictures of them? What? Oh my god. Analysis of the recordings allowed me to triangulate the source of the strange noise. Uh, ideas. Right, 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 right. What does that say? Oh, Leo's going to bed. Oh, good night. I love you all. Uh, good night, Leo. Oh, the owl. Oh, gotta collect them all. Looks like four, two, seven. What? Wait, what? Right, is this some kind of game? There must be a point to this. There will be a reward for finding them all. Um. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. 
They gave me a list of hints, yeah, and I'm just not gonna pay attention to them. I already know what one of them is in here. Oh, no, wait, okay, I already got it. I guess I counted that, that like, as progress, I, I, I didn't realize. What's through here? I actually didn't go through here, like, a second time. I don't think I've seen this. What is this? What happens if I go up? What? That's certainly. How long is this gonna take? Oh my god. This is just like Neon Genesis even Killian. Okay, alright, well. Uh, no. Wait. Right, 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 right. But like, what if, what if, what if we got him? I feel like there was a game you saw once that had combat in a space elevator. Should we just wait? Should, like, is, is it just a waiting game? Like, I, I don't really... I'm just gonna wait. Just see what happens. I am not crazy, I know he swapped those numbers. Uh, right, so I'm... Am I familiar with the original HD Stanley, Stanley Carvel games? Uh, I... Yeah, I, I mean, I, I already explained this earlier in the stream. Uh, 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 blah, blah. I, 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 like, I remember... It, it, sorry, I'm like not able to speak right now. What the fuck is... Okay, um... I remember when the first one came out, when the original came out. Uh, or I guess the HD version. Uh, and I remember the fucking PewDiePie played it, because it was like 21st Union, like PewDiePie was still like a big thing. And so like as a kid I was just like, oh, PewDiePie, and Pew a new PewDiePie, the doll. And I watched it and it was it's not like terrible. And so I saw the game through PewDiePie, but I never really like, I didn't really understand it. I was just sort of looking at it and being like, oh, I'm a kid, I, I don't really understand what's going on. And so I don't really remember much about it. There's just like a few like details here and there that are just like, yeah, you know, like I remember the door, I remember the... I don't know, the, the, the room with the screens, I don't know. The ending where you like finally escape. Or something. One of the elevators in the game will give you a secret ending. You don't think this is the one, oh. Maybe it isn't the one. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I mean, if it takes any longer than that, then Stepping like, yeah. into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, 
Stan Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. This is he stepped into the oh, newly opened passageway. Is this going to be like exactly the same or what? Because I mean, now I'm going to do it like without the bucket. And I know I did this earlier, but uh, I did it like with turning the power on, so it like messed it up. This is the elevator. Wait, is that like more elevator shenanigans or what? 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 Uh, too late. Whoops. Nope. Uh, never mind. Stanley actually right, got right, back right, right, into right. the elevator and went back up. Silly me. Right. Okay. Why did Stanley do that when he knew that it would just lead back to his boss's office? Well, that's a great question. I just can't wait to find out. Okay. Repli repeat this process until the elevator takes you someplace new? Oh. Is this something? This is not someplace new. Here we are, Stanley. It's your boss's office. Exactly the way it was before you got onto the elevator. It's still just exactly what it is. Oh, three what times. a decision you've made to come up here and look at the office again. This has fleshed out the plot of the story in new and fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. It's that keen eye for storytelling that you have. An incisive rapid fire of critical plot points, one after the other, weaving a rich tapestry of uncompromising narrative. Wow. She's okay. <laughs> all right. Okay. I'm bolted to the edge of my seat. Well, all right. Incredible. Now he's getting back into the elevator and going down again. Ladies and gentlemen, how does he keep coming up with all of this? Uh, you know, I, I don't really I don't, I don't know what happens. I'm not, I'm not sure what happens. I don't know what's going on. 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 Did you think we were going to go forward down the spooky corridor? No. Corridor. It's time once again to go back up in the there, elevator. There are people in the UK that I can't say even begin to like grapple with what really might be up why. there. Is it the boss's office again? Or what if it's the boss's office this time? The suspense is killing me. Chief. I should have done this with the bucket. Oh my, oh my fucking god. It's the boss's office. Can't believe it. <sighs> this absolutely changes everything for me. <laughs> Give me a time out here for a minute while I process this. Oh, right, okay. You know, I, I, I posted this as a gif when I was, like, posting about, like, the fact that I was going live uh, on Twitter. Okay, I'm ready. But I didn't know what it was. I'm prepared to embrace this stunning revelation and to move and forward with. No, no, wait, no. I need more time to <laughs> process. Oh, fucking seriously. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Oh, okay. Okay. But yeah, but I mean, yeah. Now I know what it is. So it's like, yeah. Okay. Cool. I have fully come to terms with it. Okay. I have made space in my worldview for this astonishing new reality. As before, I turn to your expert eye for gripping narrative, Master Stanley. Okay. Well. Of course. Going back down in the elevator. How did I not anticipate it? I mean, sure, now it's obvious, but you have to understand that 30 seconds ago, this kind of thing had never been attempted before. True. I had no frame of reference to even anticipate it. That's just how revelatory Stanley's decision-making is. A breath of fresh air in a landscape of storytelling that has grown stale and repetitive. Yeah, no, Derek, and yeah, 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 yep. Re revelatory. 
Revelatory, revelatory, wait, revelatory, I don't know. <laughs> You know what? I've just thought of something. Hold on, let's stop for a moment. Don't you realize? It's the anticipation, Stanley. You and oh, I, wait a minute. we have no way of knowing what will be at the top of this elevator. But the suspense, the agony of waiting and anticipating and having to guess, that's the real thrill. Oh, I simply don't want to let that feeling go. It's so precious, so fleeting. Why don't we take this elevator ride nice? And slow. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, okay. There we go. Isn't this so much more exciting? You know, Stanley, it seems like nowadays the only thing that audiences want is to be shocked as loudly and frequently as possible. They want big, explosive moments flung right in their faces yeah, the guess. very moment that things get started. Maybe. But where's the tension? Where's the trust in the audience? To build a slow and nuanced appreciation for the story, uh, the characters. Breaking bad. Why aren't we given time to imagine the surprises? To have to think and to anticipate and then to marvel at the eventual reveal. This is storytelling, Stanley. What you <laughs> and I are doing right now. This is the most exciting narrative to be developed in years. And it's really all because of you. You're the one who took this bold step of revisiting the exact same locations over and over. Truly, I mean it. This is unique and different. It's not like anything else out there. You see, I want stories uh. that surprise me, Stanley. <laughs> I want to have to think. I want to be engaged and not pandered to. We're being fed yeah, such okay. unimaginative right. drivel all the time, and we all know it. Which is why we're so starved for content that makes us feel sharp and vital and alive. That's why people like if you I do so this, doesn't look like the subtitles are like spinning in the face of slightly, tradition. like it's You're like they're ever so slightly you know. tired. Look it's called the MC listen, alright, we were all thinking it. Up to you. Which is why, though I didn't know when to spring this on you, but, well, I've gathered a little press conference for you. So that you can talk about your work and your storytelling and your life. Yes, I know you're not much for the public eye, but I thought it would especially mean a lot to the people who have been following you from the beginning. They really look up to you, Stanley. What? I don't know if you realize the impact you have on them. What? This is the kind of gesture that might what? leave a tremendous impact on them for the better. But this is something new. Oh, good, we're here. Uh, yeah, sorry, there's something, uh... The far and superior version of the narrator is offended by the narrator in the game. Bravo, Vince. You've done it again. Hey, fuck, just shut up. Shut the hell up. Okay, the room where we're holding the press conference should be just around the corner here somewhere. Uh, all eyes on Stanley. <laughs> How we did it at the pyramids. What the fuck? The guy who went to Mars. <laughs> I, I, I literally, literally like it's, I, it's, it's, is this real? Is it true? Did he actually go to Mars? Oh my god. It's just a dude. World peace, baby. Uh. Ah, yes. Here it is, just through this door. But, uh, once first sentient machine. Uh. Why am I able to just walk through this table? Ooh. The storyteller. Uh, okay. Yeah. Right. Are you ready? I've told them you're going to speak a little bit about the nature of surprise in storytelling. And what it means uh... to craft a truly unpredictable narrative. Oh, don't worry. You'll do great. Just be yourself and speak from the heart. I'm really proud of you, Stanley. Okay, it looks like they're ready for you. Go get them. Up again, down again. What the fuck? I played the demo. Leo told me earlier to play the demo. So, uh... Remember, remember where you came from. Uh, Uh, 
reminds me of um hey one yeah okay <laughs> POV Twitch streamer. Oh. oh. Ah. Ah, oh, yes. I, uh, loading. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, that was just the ending. Shit. Oh, okay. All right. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I don't really like care of the sequel, by the way. Like, is there just always going to be the sequel? Like, wait, what, what's going on? No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. You can't? It's just permanently like this? Wait, okay, so, like, is the Stanley Parable 2, like, actually a game that is going to be released after this? Or is it just, like, a joke within this game? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, Wait, I didn't take and the... Stanley knew it perfectly well. Look, I didn't take Perhaps the bucket. he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I didn't take the bucket, I didn't take the bucket. So sorry if I forgot the bucket. Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really it's been worth just a detour joke. after Seriously, all, don't. just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Drinking it all in. I just assumed that like they were actually working on a sequel and this game was just like promotion for that, essentially, but yes, now that I see it. Really, I... really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Right. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Yeah. Um. Right. Uh, okay. Right, uh, yep. Yeah, okay. Alright. Uh, I don't really- I, honestly, bottom text. What- what more is there to do? Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh, look at that. Another miniature Stanley figurine. This, um, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands? Mini stands. Stanley figs. Um, what about Stanlerines? Yes, I think I like that. Another Stanlerine under your belt. Stanlerine. Okay. Well, okay. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post job. Okay. Wait, we've, we've already seen that ending, so like, I don't really... Uh, uh, blah 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 blah. I don't know, like, I, is there any more, like, stuff? D All uh, of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. It's like at this point, there's like, there's just no more going on, really, is there? When is Stanley there? came to a set of two open I forgot doors, the bucket again. he entered the door on his left. I forgot the bucket again. I forgot the bucket again. I forgot the gosh dang bucket again. Without the bucket? Wait, finish the true ending without- the Oh, room. was yes, the true ending- everyone would be. Right, right, right. Stanley right. just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, he would never be alone ever again. 
a new line of dialogue. I could be at the true ending, so okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I forgot that I was gonna do that. I mean, I'm assuming that the true ending is just like the what I did with the bucket, but like without the bucket. Yeah, yeah. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay. Is there a Stan Urine in here, by the way? I don't think there is. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud. To okay, nobody. I guess it's more too He began it. wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf. Looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could I it guess it's not correct be? until he says it. In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. It's too different. It's, course, it's different Stanley every time. Possibly it's different every time. It's, it's different every time. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keyboard, or is it not Stanley different every time? Wait, am I dumb? Is it different every time? Or am I just going insane? Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. We literally gave it to you. So it's not different every time, and I'm just... I, I have, like, the worst memory, okay. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't even notice. Uh, so yeah. Listen, all right, it's been a long day. Stanley right. walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. So, okay, so... We, we... The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? The Uberdock is ball-knocking the synthesis. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. Gonna go dizzy. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. They slowed it down? Oh, right. This mind control facility. Motion sickness, yeah, that was the point. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Uh. No. He refused to believe it. Right. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Employee. Employee. An em employee. The heart of the operation. Employee. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy employee. Or sad. Or content. Walking. Eating. Working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power. And this, this is it, like... From here it's just like... I haven't actually completed the Stanley Parable. Yeah, I know. Well, like, even with the true ending... There's still an exit. Yeah, 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 I know that. I just I, like I don't I don't know what they are. And a rising chill of Without regard, I don't know if I'd be able to get all of them. Yes, he had won. He had defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away, and yet 
Even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Right. Perhaps his uh. goal had not been to understand, but to let go. Why is it like this? No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it doesn't end where you play is. Portal 2. No, there and isn't. That was all he needed to That's know. not real, is it? It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. It's it's just like a. What? Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, <laughs> the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path. That's where I find out. A fucking. This was exactly the way. Right now. That things were meant to happen. Right. And Stanley was happy. And that's the true ending? Oh, okay. Quote unquote, beat the game. Sorry. Oh, what? Well, huh, huh, huh? Just a step through this door, Stanley thought to himself, that's all I need. If I can make it through this door, I can make it through them all. What? What, uh, what's happening? Uh huh. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yeah, no, no, no more paper, I guess. I... Um. <laughs> Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. This seems like it's kind of just like, like I don't, I don't know, like there isn't any more, is there? Like, or, 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 like I don't know, there isn't going to be like apart from just like the basket. I don't even know. I don't even know. I uh. Yeah, I don't even know. The meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. There's no Stanley paper. just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, he would never be alone ever again. But yeah, the paper, the paper is gone, though. It's Stanley's office. It's two doors. Pick the one on the right. Goes to the warehouse. Take the lift and jump onto the catwalk. I can't jump. I'm not able to jump. Do you mean just like fall or like what? Try it, but like what? When Stanley came to a set of two of them, this okay. was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it it's perfectly way, well. Right. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Yes. This room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Wait, is it? Wait. Oh, I don't Wait, is here, right? This is the my house. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Do you, do you mean this? This this is the warehouse, right? Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong oh. foot here. I'm not God your really. enemy, really, I'm not. I realize right. that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the oh, fact is right. that the story has been about nothing... What? Really? Oh shit. I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero oh, oh, consideration oh my God. I didn't, for others? I didn't consider Are you this? that okay. convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really <laughs> do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, 
Let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Okay, so the two wait. Jump into the car walker. The two colored doors. Uh, what do you mean? Like, is it over here or no? I don't. Know, have I gone the wrong way? Oh no no no. Okay. Now listen carefully. This is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Right, the blue door. Aha, perhaps you oh my fucking god. Oh, Stanley walked through the red door. Right, this is a whole thing I don't know about this. I still don't think we're communicating properly. No, Stanley I remember this. Through the red door. This is one of the one of the few details that I remember about this game. All right, from like ages go ago. Ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. I remember fi finding it really funny that, like, the blue door was, uh, you see? at the back. There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you would want to Was it textures. worth ruining the entire story I'd written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? The <laughs> Skill trees? Skill trees. Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. Oh. There right. we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. I'm, I'm assuming this is... okay. Uh, please rate your experience. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you uh -huh. say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. Clearly there's something here that speaks to you. If I can be honest here, I really don't have any idea where I'm going with this. This whole third door thing was just a stab in the dark. But I guess you're into it, so let's keep this party train roaring. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, what? I've compiled a new version. Oh, and to be okay. perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Um... The Stanley Parable Worldwide Leaderboard. Uh, right. So, wait, if I go through here again. Oh. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Yes. Again, honest answers, please. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on. And <laughs> now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. Oh, is it? Oh, right, 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 okay. In this game, what? the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right. Uh, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. Oh, so this it's is a the... Right, game, right, 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 right. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. <laughs> I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Yeah, okay. Be sure to keep notes on your experience. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, alright. Alright. Okay. So, so like what, like, what happens if I don't? You heartless bastard! Oh my you fucking do it god! Because you hate babies, or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. 
Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Oh, Let's see. God, I'm sorry. What do we have here? <clears throat> I'm guessing this is where Paul comes in. <clears throat> yes. This the seems fuck? like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, what? wait, no, what is this? Aha! Fascinating. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? This... What's our backstory? What is our motivation? Is this Firewatch? Hmm. Well, it seems obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent is civilians this... below you from up high in your creep tower. Is this Perhaps fucking for some Firewatch? Sort of twisted, like... erotic purpose. What? How did. How? Yes, that must be it. What a fascinating venture so... into the experience of total okay. mental depravity. So far, I love everything about this game, Stanley. And it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. It's just, it's literally just another game. I... How are they, like, allowed to do this? Fuck, it, it, this is such, like, a massive bamboozle that even chat, even LEGO has been bamboozled. I, I... I don't even, like... I mean, it's like a subversion of... Subversion of expectation, like what? I, 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 very unusual. Oh no! No 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 no! It can't be. What? 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 It is. It's an open world game. Oh Good God! Goodness. Quickly block it off. What? <laughs> oh. oh! Thank goodness, Stanley. What a close call. You nearly wandered off into that. That thing, that big open, just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, no path to follow. You can just go in any. Oh, oh thank heavens we avoided it. We're out of the woods now, Stanley. Oh God. Okay, Wait. I'm going to get us yeah. out of here. Let's right. find another game. Is there, is there another something with okay. walls? Something with nice, big, insurmountable walls. <laughs> what? Not even okay. like okay. I right. think this will be just the thing. What if this is Paul then? Wait, like, what? How? Like, uh, what? It was Paul in HD. So, what? What is this then? It's fucking Rocket Wonderful. League. See, this is exactly Hang on. what I had in mind. Hang just on. Just a nice big box how, for you to run. How are they allowed to? There isn't any possibility to, that you could how, get lost here. Now, how? this. Is game design. How, how can they? Stanley, if you manage to how, get lost in this game, I will the, be phenomenally I, impressed. Did, did, like, they literally like, got the rights from fucking. Like, okay, so what exactly do we do here? What? Let's see. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, sports ball. I think it's sports ball. It's oh, what sports fun. Ball. We shall oh, run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yes, I think surely we uh, must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. What? 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 Oh. It's literally just the ball. Oh, you like speed up. You, oh. Huh. Uh. I gotta say, I gotta say, Are this is. It? Are you winning? Is this fun? Is it better than my miserable little story that I worked so hard on? Stanley, I have a thought. And I realize I'm not a sportsologist, but if one generates a certain amount of more adrenal pleasure, then surely multiple balls multiple makes balls. for an even more euphoric sports experience. I'm going to try it out. Here comes another ball. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, wait. Yes. Oh All right. goodness, that really does feel amazing, doesn't I, I, I it? Haven't Stanley, played for I'm like a child before, in a confectionery way. shop. I simply have to have more. I'm insatiable. More uh, balls! What, what the fuck? Oh, oh, alright, oh, oh, okay. I'm trying to get it, like, into the goal. Is it working? I, I don't even... Okay, I guess it's just ducking. This I'm is... Enjoying, like... Stanley. Are you having fun? Is this a real video game? I don't well, know. I sure hope you're having a good time because guess what? It's over. Oh, That's okay. Right. 
Your little fun comes <laughs> okay. This is my game, and what I say goes. You get to have fun when I let you, Stanley. Besides, you need someone like me to set boundaries for you. Without rules or boundaries, video games are nothing. Yes, that's what I am. I'm structure. I'm your sense of purpose. And since you decided you didn't want to play my game, now I don't want to play with you either. So, goodbye, Stanley. Okay. I'm leaving. See how you like it when I'm not around to set the rules. Somehow, I don't think you'll enjoy it as much. But who knows? You're an inventive kid. You'll come up with something. After all, you're the one who knows best. Take care, Stan. <laughs> oh, someone just here forever. No, okay. All right. Uh, what happens if I go in here? Oh. Hold on. What are you doing? Oh. Uh, okay, I am... Oh my god, someone's playing fucking Chocobo GP. Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. Oh, How will you write ocean. a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, uh-oh. Whoops. Uh ha ha oh, oh, oh. What oh, oh, oh. This is the original launch. This is apparently the original Stanley Powerful. Oh. That's funny. Uh right, uh, okay. Okay. All right. Well, okay. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. Uh, the end will be here soon. Very soon. I could uh, wait. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, I was about—I was about to say the end is never the end. Uh, oh, all right. Uh, I, I'm not really sure. I, I don't know how much more there is. I—I I know there's a bunch of achievements. I've only done like thirty-six percent of the achievements. Complete the Stanley Parable. How do I how do I speed run it? Super go outside. Oh, 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 oh. Oof. Uh um Just do it fast. Well yeah, but like I don't know. I kinda did it as fast as I could. Um You can't jump. I really I, what does it mean? The entire duration of a Tuesday. <laughs> oh. I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley thought. What How story? amusing they'll oh. find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing? Yeah. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Yes. Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? Yes. No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five <laughs> clicks. <laughs> now suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Also, does, does the keypad code actually change or not? Like, genuinely, like, I can't fucking tell anymore.
Hmm. I have to say, I'm still not feeling uh. the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do yeah, it. Fuck yes, God. Almost certainly 50 I, clicks. I was gonna end the stream literally. I was gonna end the stream. I ended the stream with 4 hours and 27 minutes. No, no, I'm, I'm still not That's another 20 it. minutes, though. I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? What? Uh, oh, okay. Uh, also, the VOD, uh, like, the VOD length and the stream length are two different lengths, so on YouTube it's going to be different anyway. So it's like one or the other. Uh... Oh. Oh, great! Now, go click a few times on door 437. Oh my fucking god. Uh... Where's the... Oh. Uh, where, where is the... No, 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 no. Where, where is it? Uh, 437. Oh. Excellent! I think we're getting somewhere. Now door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. 415. Uh, it's that right? Wait. Yeah. Now back to door number 437. Oh my fucking god, dude. Wait. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's see, how about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine. The copy machine. Oh. All right, back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. God. The, the, like, I should have known, really. Uh. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. Why though? <laughs> but why though? But wh why? But why? But why though? Yes, this is great. <laughs> You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go, give me a few clicks on door four one six. Hey, so-called free thinkers. We've almost got it. Now the copy machine. Do that one again. What the fuck? He he's like. So happy about this. Uh, Finish it off, Stanley. Five clicks on door four three zero. Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! We did it! Oh my god! Oh wow! That felt amazing. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really, now? What were you thinking? Th this game, I, I feel like I'm trapped forever, like, fucking all. Uh, I think... I kind of like the idea of, like, the... Like, streaming for another, like, half an hour just to get the, um... The time code to be four hours and 27 minutes, but... I also, like, kind of want to stop playing the game at the same time, so I don't really know. It's also very late, it's like 1am. I didn't really think about that. Like, oh, what's your idea? Okay. The sequel is now paused. Uh, okay. Okay. You can climb on a desk in the first room, and there's something there, okay. Well, like, this desk, or, like, what? 
There are multiple desks. Is it Stanley's desk? Is it the, this one? I don't know. Climb on the desk. Climb on a desk in the first room. By the window. Uh, how, though? There's no, like, way that I could do that. So... The chair? Which chair? No. Wait, what? Oh. Wait. Uh, th there's, like, almost something here? Wait. Oh, 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 right, okay. And there's something here, or what? Wait. Uh, no. I don't know. Shit. What, what is the something? Would go outside, what? Oh. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. Right. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Drink okay, it all in. I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Um. Let me see. Uh. No. Ah, then in that case, we'll continue. But now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea, but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, oh now think about it. Okay. Would it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Clearly, this whole gag takes some time. What if the other option is even longer? How long would you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, and this is rich. Perhaps you've just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. So, what do you think? Which Wait. choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected <sighs> continue on your first playthrough, <sighs> how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Though, if the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps oh, you're not. I can't. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Well, well, that includes chat. I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. What? How do I... I'm... Uh... I, I, I'm stuck. Oh. Well, uh, that seems like a thing ending. I, I, I suppose. Um, I don't know. Uh. Sure, I mean, yeah, I can, I, I can end the stream here, and maybe just, like, spend the next, like, 20 minutes just doing nothing of value, just to get the number up for the VOD. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, quit the menu. Yeah, this truly was some chicanery.
What is plus more? Oh, um, that was just like in case like, because like I went into this blind and I wasn't sure if I'd like have time for more afterwards or not. Uh, but I mean, this has been like a four hour stream of one game and I'm tired as hell. And uh, I, am, I am okay with just closing the game and closing it and... Yeah, so Link's is going to be a game trial. Uh, at least it is in um, Europe. I don't, I don't know if it's going to be in like other regions, but I, I, like, I don't know. Uh, Nintendo was kind of confusing about it. Uh, I could literally just like feel like the, the the like the rest of the duration here in the USA and haven't. Okay. Could I do something on or off stream? What do you mean? Did I do what on or off stream? Uh, let's look at the news. Wow, copy. Check if the game is permanently set to pack. Oh, wait. That's a good idea, actually. Oh, you know, actually, yeah, there is going to be, because the time thing from, from like, the beginning, like, the, it's like, oh, like, set your favorite time. Mentioned that on stream, mentioned what on stream. I, whatever, I don't know, it's, um, what, what did I say, it was like, Three, uh, if this is permanent, yeah, 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 yeah. I can just check it now. Uh, 3 44 a.m., your favorite time of day, or could you simply not resist giving me the correct time again? After all, I know how much you enjoy setting the time correctly. Okay, now I'm curious how accurate 3.44 a.m. is. Let's use another slider to find out how accurate is 3.44 a.m. Uh, I, I guess, like, uh, I mean, well, like, a couple hours off. You just went to the NSO up in the eShop and didn't see a trial. Oh, shit. I guess it's just Europe and... Uh, you know, can I just say, regardless of the accuracy of the clock, I'm having a great time adjusting these settings. I feel like I'm learning more about you and how you like to do things. Uh, how, blah, how, blah, 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 how you like things to be set. It's good to collect data. I wish we had more sliders, but we've gone through all of the sliders that I have. Hmm, perhaps I can invent new sliders to gather, <laughs> to gather new data on you. Shouldn't be hard. Yeah, leave me with a couple new ones up. It should be ready by the next time you go out the game. Oh shit, I have to find out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hear the narrator in like dreams tonight. Also, it's still the, it's still the Stanley Parable too. Uh, I don't know. Cross, cross, cross. There is a Discord link in a Nintendo Switch game. That is, oh my god. Okay, all right. Well, shit. Okay, all right. Well, this isn't a bad thing. It just means that the game is still that. Uh, but yeah, what, what do we do for the next uh, 20 minutes? I guess, uh, I don't know. I'll try finding the like PewDiePie video actually. Let's go check on the internet. I already I already did that. I already did that. It's like Kirby and like I don't know what's new. Uh and our Kirby 64 is on here now. I might stream that. 20 minutes or seven minutes. It's 20 minutes for the the VOD recording, so it it like it's seven minutes for Twitch, but I, you know. I have like both timers visible, and for the stream of odd, it's uh, four hour, it, like currently it's at four hours and nine minutes. 
the the uh, the YouTube one is more prominent, so it's like I prefer having that. Um, but yeah, let's let's find like the PewDiePie video that I recall watching, as I I, I I like saw that as 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 I as a as, as a child as a baby, as a as a baby, it must have been like I don't know. I was young, at least. I don't, I don't fucking know. It was ten years ago. Uh. Oh, here we go. Wait, 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 wait. I don't know which uh video it would be because there's uh. Wait, okay, one of them is the. I don't even know. I think one of them the original. 2013 is nine years ago. Yeah, 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 whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know which one it is. I'm just gonna assume it's this first one. Uh, like the top, the top one. I don't fucking know. But like the this embarrassingly is how I uh watched this fucking the uh or like experienced this game for the first time like ages ago and I just need to um capture the thing hold on wait oh okay uh wait I just like size it so uh, yeah so I uh, uh so uh the uh, uh what <laughs> I hate this. No, I hate this. Never mind. Uh, what are you talking about? What are you talking about, Metroid? 2002 was 20 years ago. As a, as a Metroid fan, you think about that a lot. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. Um, I'm not actually watching the PewDiePie video. I, I, I feel like I'm gonna, like, embarrass, like, it not like not just myself, but like everyone, everyone involved. Uh, oh, by the way, just for the record, I don't own these. These are also uh, because I'm sharing an account with Boots. Because I'm sharing Boots's account, like the, these three games specifically, and then also Tony Hawk. Like this, like set of games here is not mine. Uh. I don't know what else there is. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it was Skull Pilgrim. I haven't played that yet. Yeah, let's 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 let's, uh, let's, uh, let's let's play some Jump King again. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play some of this. Will I ever stream Yakuza? Maybe. 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 I think it would be a better idea to play it on my own, but like, I don't know. I am not crazy. Uh, I am not cr Where is it? Uh, here it is. Okay, I, 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 I mean, this isn't the Stanley Parable, but like, whatever. I think you isn't Uberdog the one that you work on? Um, so yeah, off stream, I got this far. Uh, I did get further, but I fell. I haven't played this in a bit, actually. It's it's kind of weird playing it again. Uh. Oh great! Oh good! Oh shit! 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 Well, oh, that went well. Uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm just kind of stalling for time. Uh, I am not crazy, I know he swapped those numbers, I knew it was 1216. One after the <laughs> As Uh, ignore that. Uh, you using Uberdog? I, I, which one is the one that you work on? Because, like, I know you work on one of them, I, I, don't, I don't know which one. Uh, I don't know, wait, 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 this, this one. 
He looks like King Knight, but without the Warrior Land shoulder bash. Uh, wait. The, the dude. The guy. Bleh. 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 I don't know, there's still another like 13 minutes, I don't really know what to do, I kinda just wanna end the stream. Uh, it, is it okay if I do that? Well, like, I don't know. Well, uh... Maybe I could just try like speedrunning the ending, actually. I could, I could just do that. And I'd be able to sign myself because I have like a recording timer right here. Oh, it's, it's, it's already there on Twitch, but on uh, the VOD, on the YouTube VOD, it's going to be different. And I kind of secretly prioritize YouTube VODs over uh, Twitch VODs because the Twitch VODs uh, delete after like a month. Uh, Bucka for Sentinel no Bucka. I, I can't do the true ending with the Bucka, can I? You make a highlight of the whole stream. I could do that, but like it's uh, the, 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 all. Uh, Okay. Well, <laughs> okay. But um, <laughs> Occubuinkle or Scrum? To I, I I like Occubuinkle quite a bit. Scrum to no, 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 I'll Uh, Is the time that is right now the correct time? Yes. What is time anyway? Yeah. Is there anything about yourself that you haven't told me? Yes. Oh. Woo. Yeah. Probably. Uh, 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 okay. Okay, so I know what to do. Uh, remind me what the the, the like keypad code is again, so that I can just type it in without having to think about it. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to Zero, the four, meeting. Five. Okay. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Thank you. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, okay, okay. Precious, precious seconds. Precious minutes. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. No, uh, wrong way. Okay, two, eight, four, five. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any uh. human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story uh, as quickly as possible, yes. he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some Fucking calming new age Oh music. my god, you have to be kidding me. Okay. Uh, alright. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, yeah, yeah. Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. This game is anti-speedrunner. Uh, and anti-anti. 
It's optimal to do this route after this. He opens the door for free. Oh. Oh. Whoops. I mean, I could probably just do it anyway. Oh, it's just- it, wait, it just says loading? It just says loading. It didn't just say loading before, did it? Said the end. Descending the end is deeper into the, the end. building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Okay, okay, okay. We got like two minutes left, I think. I don't know if I ever rose on an enormous room just packed about. with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Uh, I mean, this is probably this is probably this is probably fine, right? Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Oops. Uh, oh my god. No. Yeah. He refused to believe it. He I don't couldn't know if this is gonna work out, actually. His own life I'm not sure. in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world but here was the proof the heart of the operation controls labeled with emotions happy Damn, or sad know. or content walking eating working all of it monitored and commanded from this very place and as the cold reality really of his sure, heart actually. began to sink Genuinely. in, Stanley decided that this uh, machine six minutes, would never way. again exert its terrible power. Oh, did I, did I do it? Is this time? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I think it counts this part as well, so like I'm not really sure. Blackness. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes! He had won! He had defeated the machine! Unshackled oh, himself for it. from oh, someone else's for it. command! Oh, I have to wait for it. Freedom was mere moments away! I have and to yet, wait for it. Even as the immense door slowly opened, I don't know, I guess we'll Stanley find out. reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this Developer mattered to him. Console. Oh, wait, really? For it was not knowledge or even power that he the had been room. seeking. Wait, the serious Perhaps. room isn't in this version of the Perhaps game. his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, then... what to do. Or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley Just stepped let me through through already. Oh my god. Okay. Stanley felt the cool breeze I don't think on it his skin. Worked. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path. I think literally the way it is. This was exactly the way. Right now. It might just be impossible to do it. To the first time around, like I might need to do it another time. Was happy. I don't know. Because I don't think I do not think that was four minutes and twenty-six seconds. I'm pretty sure that was longer. Yeah.
Uh, yeah. And now I don't even have time to try again because there's only three minutes left. Uh, so uh, I'm just gonna stall for another three minutes and then, uh, I, yeah. Uh, uh, th thank you for joining the stream. If you did, thank thank you for the thank you for the th thank you thank thank thankfully. Uh, I'm gonna put on some cool music while I while I wait while I wait for this. Uh, what 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 do we got? What do we got? Uh, let me see. Uh. But that is some that is some funky. But this is also some funky. Ooh. Uh yeah, let's just wait. Do you think we'll ever make a broken battle by Uncle Sawyer? They fucking no. I feel like they, if they really wanted to, but like I don't think they're really looking for that. Like, plus there's a lot of things that just wouldn't translate very well. The song, yeah, it's it it it. it I guess what game it's from? It's from Pictionary for the NES. One second, I have to like. We're getting like less and less time. One second. Uh, uh, right, 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 right. If it, wait, oh, yeah, 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 I don't know, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not crazy, I know he swapped those moments, I knew it was 1216, one off of the magnet card, as if it, I could never make such a mistake. Uh, no, never, never. I just, I just couldn't prove it. He, 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 he can't. Oh wait, what about the thing I was supposed to play? The, yeah, 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 yeah. What, what, what was that? Hold on a second. Thus concludes Riley's stream of the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Thank you all for watching. This is Deepfake Narrator signing out. Good night. That is very silly. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, uh oh, wait. Uh, nine, eight, six, uh, five, four, three, two, one.